What's going on? Everybody, Dave the Bronx Legend. Back in the Bronx, chilling out, Labor Day weekend. Well, actually, Labor Day. Let's go. Um, I just lighted my little cigar and got no plans today. You know, after a long vacation, still, I think today my body is starting to get a little bit more acclimated to being back to East Coast time. Um, I got JB saying he's going to join me a little bit later on. Um, I'm not sure who's going to be on here today, but, you know, let's rock out and party up. Uh, I'm going to drop the link. Anybody wants to reach up here? Let's go. So what are 702? Uh, give me one second. Let me, I forgot how to get this time, uh, this link shit. If I guess, okay, copy link. There you go. I got it. I got it. 702, man. I'm still trying to get accustomed to this, uh, this time difference, man. That time difference is a killer, bro. I lost those three hours, man. What's that? Got the white handy cigar as per usual. That's my number one go-to now. Tastes amazing. Got this Dwight Hennessy taste to it. And of course, you don't get this in Vegas, that's all too. The, the Bodega Coffee. That Bodega Coffee's clutch, man. Oh, best thing in the world, bro. Put my little lighter sweets and we good money. Three o'clock, though. Um, it's four o'clock. I'm on that one o'clock mode. Nah, it wasn't bad at all over here, bro. Um, being that I wasn't driving anyway, so it made it easier. Um, but yeah, we landed in Newark Airport, so that's about like, I'd say 45 minutes from here, which JFK would have been about the same time, but JFK is just closer because there's no bridge. So the cab would have been about like $20 cheaper type thing, you know? But it looks like Kennedy was uh, too booked with JetBlue or whatever, so, you know. But JetBlue took care of us. Um, I ended up buying the the extra space seat, so me and my girl were more comfortable. That's like one hundred forty dollars extra, and um, JetBlue has has gave us a credit each each of one hundred fifty dollars. So it's basically it offset that, and now I got uh, one hundred fifty dollars on my next flight. And mind you, I got fifty from the flight from Los Angeles to Vegas that was delayed as well. So now we got two hundred each for the next flight, and we're supposed to go to Vegas again in October, so, I mean, right now it's between Puerto Rico and Vegas, we, we're waiting to come up for my homegirl to decide, but, yeah, it's, but the Bronx isn't bad no more, I mean, I live up, like, the Bronx doesn't really suffer that much, bro, the Bronx doesn't really get killed as much with the water, especially around the area I'm at, because it's a little higher up than, than, say, the South Bronx, the South Bronx is a little bit more buried, because it's a city, mm. never mind, seven to you. Your spot's better than mine. <laughs> Your spot's way better than mine, bro. <laughs> yeah, this, you don't get that. You get the the the, the A rags and everybody with no art with no um deodorant on at the store chilling while well, drinking their beers. I take I take the girls with the high heels any day of the week. Damn, I, you didn't tell me that when I was out there, bro. You know, it's funny because there was a, there was, you know, right there by the Bellagio, there's some chicks that walk around painting and stuff, right? Yo, Goof, what up, my brother? There's some chicks that be walking around painting on the, on the, on the strip and they're by the Bellagio. And there was this one, like, I don't know if she was Spanish or she was Filipino or, 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 or from China. I have no clue where she was from. She had like a, like a little, uh, Chinese look to her, but sexy as fuck. And it was to the point my girl goes, it's my birthday, I want to take a picture with her. I'm like, yo, let's throw her dub, let's take a picture with her. So, yeah, she, she, she made it easy. But it's funny because when I'm giving her the $20, she takes out her big-ass knot she had. I'm like, oh, damn, a lot, of, a lot of money out there. Yeah, yeah, Goof. Oh, you know, Goof, that's what I do, bro. I'm back to my, my white Henny cigars. You know what I mean? I got my coffee, you know, I got my, my, my GAC shades on. I'm chilling, bro. You can't take life too serious, my brother. That bum life is is is, is true. The, I'm at the hood. You got the people playing. You got people playing uh, dominoes. So you're gonna hear them screaming in the background for a little bit here and there, cause you know how dominoes get. 
I said, old school uh, Boricua shit. The nigga saying, down low, pop, pop, pop. Put in the casino. I got the nigga to make up. Uh, JB was playing some ball, so he said he's going to join me in a bit, but. Yo, Goof, man, that shit yesterday was crazy on Rose, huh? I'm over here still cracking jokes. <laughs> I was cracking jokes on everybody said, I actually don't stop me. Got a little kid around me right now. I'm just kind of like, hi. Yeah, man. Hi. <laughs> the kid's staring at me. Mm. I don't want to blow smoke on the kid's face. Okay. I don't want to blow smoke on the kid's face. The little kids are staring at me. What's going on out there, man? Yo, 702, man. My, my girl fell in love with Vegas, bro. And she's like, I was telling her, I was like, look, right now, we do, if you had the offer of the 10 days in Cabo or, the reason why we didn't stay in Cabo longer was because we would have had to switch up all the flights. And then on top of that, we would have had to cut the stay short because I don't think I could do 12 days in Cabo, you know, and mind you, you know, it was going to be cheaper, but... She said she's so happy she went to Vegas because she loved Vegas, man. She loved it. So I mean, she's definitely looking forward to October going again. She starts a new job on the third, on the on the fourteenth. So, but it's remote. So she's like, "Fuck this shit! I could go work in Vegas and then come back home and sleep and, and party." So, and she gets she makes good money. So I, well, that trip won't be all on me. You know how we do goofy and that bum life shit. Yeah, but that goof, that goof shit yesterday with that knowledge dude, that shit was crazy. I saw Static pop up today. So, Lucy Static, that's it, it's done, Static, we're done. We, we don't talk shit to each other no more. It's over. We already proved that point with the, on my end. I just, like I said, I give opportunity when people want it. If they take, up, they take it or not, that's on them. So, we're good on my end, bro. We can be in chats together. We don't have to kiss and, 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 and cuddle or nothing like that, like Goof does all day. We can just be chill down and, and, and not address each other. We straight we straight already on that point. I was listening to Sage and, and Voice You. I like them together man. They got they got a a nice little rapport together. So salute to them. Um I just had to get off I had to get I was I was in the chat and everything. There you go the background. That Spanish life. So um the one thing is that I didn't uh I didn't get. I, I I haven't caught up to power. <laughs> nah, bro, static. That is good already, bro. I'm not, I'm not even beating up a static anymore. Snickers all day. We beat up a Snickers all day. Yeah, they they they, they sounded real good together. They sounded real good together. I like it. The only thing about Sage, Papa. Well, well, she, she messed up by saying Papi. I'm like, oh, I never said Papi. I said Papa. Papa's father. Papi is like a, a cute a cute term. Like you call your kid Papi. Like I call my nephew Papi. You know, um, Papa is just is my dad. You know, respect my dad, my grandfather. Um, but what was I gonna say? I had to catch up to Power, bro. I missed two episodes of Power, bro. Oof, that shit, fire. So that's why I had to get off. Cause my girl's like, um, we gonna watch Power or what? I was like, I wanna go smoke a cigar. She's like, yeah, after Power. So we ended up going to the to watch the the. You know, we watched it. Yo, that fucking show is good, man. It's getting better. <laughs> it is what it is, my brother. It is what it is. That's a good cigar when it, the, the ashes just don't don't drop. Yeah, yeah, Cavalli, bro. You know, like I said, bro. I don't. I and and that was the whole problem I had with DC's comments prior to the whole me confronting him. Like he actually, the last time I saw Static on a chat, it was Tommy's chat, I believe. And DC goes, "Yo, is Gabriel still supposed to fly over there to fight you? I'm not gonna fly to California to." fight this guy. I'm going to be in California on vacation with wifey, and next thing you know, if he wants to fight, then we fight. If not, then we don't. And apparently it wasn't going to happen, so it didn't happen. You know what I mean? Nah, this ain't, this ain't $8 cigars, man. What the fuck you talking about? I like the $8 one better than $25, bro. The $25, you stale as fuck, dog. Like, if you buy it from another country, even if they're Cuban, bro, that shit's fucking... I don't know, but this should taste good as hell, bro. 
I took like 10 of them with me and I couldn't really sit there and enjoy it because Mexico's laws. So, so I gave away a bunch of them. I, I came back with one. So I got to go re-up. Um, I'll probably go re-up tomorrow. But I want to interview the owner to drop it at Bonten, you know? I want to, that part of the business series that I'm doing. So the owner said he'll talk to me or whatever. And this guy got this cigar shop for a while, bro. And this shit right here, you ain't getting this nowhere. White Henny cigars? You got to get the White Henny from, from DR first. Yeah, bro. Listen, listen, Cavalli. When I was in LA, I didn't tell nobody where I was at. Well, I said I was in Hollywood Boulevard. But if you worked there, you knew exactly where I was at because you can't miss the Japanese uh, restaurants uh, on you. So when, when you look at my uh, the video that I, uh, when I was doing the night video on the, in the pool with wifey, you can see the background. It has this, this like, statue. Uh, that was all... You see, you see that from the from the side of the of Hollywood Boulevard, and you can see that from the side of the hotel, because it's on both sides. So you already know what other hotel has access to that. No other hotel except Lowe's Hotel, and that's why I said it. It was a, it was a, like I said, I'm very subtle with stuff. Um, if you work there, if you if you know the area, you knew where I was at. Like I told you before, bro. I didn't hide for nobody. I just didn't want them calling the hotel and talking shit while I was there. Afterwards, I don't give a fuck. Now I don't like weed, bro. I don't smoke weed. That shit, that shit to me is that shit to me is no good. I mean, like I said, I've, I've made a lot of money off of weed. I, I'm involved in the weed industry. You'll probably see me go to Detroit in maybe like a couple weeks from now to to go help my boy with his with the weed business he got. Because Detroit, you can do all that, but um, I don't smoke it. Never been a fan of it. Never been a fan at all. Just, just not my thing. Plus, I, I don't like. It's like like Snickers got this narrative that I drink a lot. He's caught me drunk maybe once, no, two, three times. Two bottles of Ace of Spades, a White Hennessy, and uh, the big vodka. Uh, what is it? The apple vodka. Yeah, goof. That's why I was laughing. You, you know, yeah, Goof, did you hear? Did you hear my um what I wrote yesterday? I know you were pissed, but I wrote. I said Goof, Goof is in Georgia, but his hairline's back in Detroit. I don't know if you caught that one, bro. But I know you were, you were going in on dude. I went downstairs and I turned back and I hit. Yeah, I actually went hey, I'm like, oh, what the fuck did I miss? Um, uh, you know I love that 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 um that arguing shit, but not for nothing. Oh, bro, Snuggers, Snuggers, come on, man. You see Snuggers? No, Snuggers likes this shit lace. I think Snuggers smokes lace, lace blood. Well, that nigga's skinny as fuck, bro. That nigga's dying out there. That fucking ribs are touching. He ain't got no money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was roasting. I'm like, I'm trying to roast Goof, and Ro Goof is in his, in his bag about fire. I'm like, man, Goof. Stop the convertible on them, nigga. <laughs> I was like, yo, my car, the, the car, the, the car JB, the jeweler, uh, gifted my wife for the, for the, the rental for the night in, in Vegas, for the extra night in Vegas. That shit drops quicker than, than Goose Hairline. Yo, what up, Carlito? Oh, that shit was hot. Yo, bro, that shit said, that shit said to me, JB, the jeweler joined. What's good? What's good? Yeah, I like it. I like Street Melon. Hold up. I, I never seen that before. JB the jeweler joined. What the hell is wrong with this nigga shit? Word, word. Yo, JB, yeah, man. man. I'm about to hit a barbecue up. Look at you, bro. And my broke ass smoking. Yo, give me a hashtag bum life, uh, Goof Troop. Well, that's what I feel like when I talk to JB. Look at JB. He's too good for the camera. I like Melon a little better. Does it give you the green screen option? Yeah. Okay, so we good. We're gonna stick with melon. Then. I'm just, I'm just gonna pay for melon, cause my my plan is to uh to integrate Streamlabs or OBS with melon. But the problem is, I just gotta sit there and do it. But I've been so tired with this time change, bro. There you go, Goof. Yeah. You already know, bro. You know how we do our, our bums do. Not like JB. Nah, Look we at JB. Yo, JB, show your hat. We got the same hat on, but mine's is the. That's it. Yeah, yeah, bro, fire, dog. You, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. high, huh? 
Yep. So I'm, I, I got to play ball. Got my cardio in. Shoot some hoops. You lost. Got my water. You lost. You already know. How many points you had? A lot. <laughs> uh, I mean, he, I he like wrote back. I play yeah, like 10, 10 games. games. So, fuck, with your full court or, or just uh, back and forth? Half. I'm too old for uh, four. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cavalli, I came back to four shirt orders. So, I mean, it is what it he is. Said, you know. He said JB needs body or workout. <laughs> That's a fact. I do, no, I but do. No, no. Honestly, honestly, Cavalli, I came back to four shirt orders. I don't know if it's from Beagle because the names, I don't, I'm not sure whose names they are, but I, I think it's from Beagle. But he did get uh, some Stuck My Troop and, and Dose in the Lab uh, merch shirts sold. So it was four shirts when I came back. Bardio. So here's, yeah, Bardio. <laughs> <laughs> he got me saying everything with the B2 now. Why he be laughing like, yo, what are you doing? Yo, why you should look like that now? Huh? Why is your camera looking like that? What happened? Now it looks what like, look like? Very, oh, now it looks better. Now it's better. Cause it was, it, it gives you like the, like you know when you when the, the emergency broadcast system, it's doing that oh, back and forth. No, nah, no, nah, but but Cavalli, the thing is that yeah, I mean his, his merch moves at a pace. I got listen. There's somebody on my page. There's somebody that's not even on my page yet that I do business with, and um, I don't I don't put it on on the on the page where uh, yo goof, good looking out, bro. I just saw what you did, man. Um. There's somebody I put on the that I don't do I don't I don't put on my page, but the person is huge on TikTok and me and her uh have a, a long friendship going back. So she actually is moving merchandise like crazy. And even while I was gone, she had to do some of her own merchandise, but she you know, I you know, the way I do it is more packaged better, you know. So she's like, Yo, hurry up and get back so you can continue the orders. Cause it, it works smoother with me. So like the only thing I did for her while I was gone, cause she wanted to, she didn't want to tell people to wait two weeks was basically every time she got an order, I would send her the shipping information. <laughs> Cavalli stupid. <laughs> now, now Cavalli, yes and no. Yes and no. I'm going to tell you why. It's easy. And I'm, and I'm not, I, I wouldn't say, I, I wouldn't do that because honestly, it's not my, it's not my job to put Dosa's merch sales out there. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm his distributor. I'm his wholesaler, but, and I'm the one who receives his orders, but it's Dosa's merchandise. It's not my merchandise. The only thing that's mine is the shirt. The only, the only thing that's mine is the actual shirt that is made is you, that's my brand. So I can't, you know, go out and just say, you know, oh, you know, this is what those sales are or not, unless he wants me to. But... But those are easy to manipulate too. Let's not get it twisted. A hustle is a hustler, no matter how you do it. I can show you. I can show you a bank account with with twenty million dollars right now, or I can show you my real bank account. It's easy to do. Photoshop don't lie. Photoshop helps you lie, but it doesn't lie for you. You gotta do it yourself. Yeah, That's good looking fact. out, goof. I saw that, brother. I saw that, man. Yo, goof. That's you smoke fact. cigars or, 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 or bud? What do you smoke? Yeah, man, I gotta get you some. Yo, you don't smoke cigars at all, huh, huh, JB? Yeah, I got cigars. Oh man, I gotta send you some white hennies then. Yeah, I got some. I got some at the crib right now. But they some some off brand joint I got from uh, New Year's. I don't yeah, got the white this, henny. I gotta get right the white here, henny. Bro. And it's only eight dollars, dog. Like, it's eight dollars. Like you know what? I gave it to um. I, I gave some to, I, I think you saw, I didn't post it on Instagram, but I posted it on, I mean, I posted it on Instagram, not on Facebook, not on, on YouTube, but I went to, so Carlos, yeah, I saw you Carlos. Hold I on, saw Carlos, Carlos. You, Car, Carlos, but you got you to understand, some people are going to take that the wrong way. You have to say that he helped buy it. He didn't buy it for you. He assisted by giving you that cash app. So you can't say that because then people are going to say, oh, JB's giving him gifts. That's some weird shit. Uh, you know how it goes. You have to say, yeah. JB sent me a cat, which you did say it in the video. He did say it in the video. But you have to say, you know, I, I, do, JB, I donate. Yeah, yeah he, I he, donate. he helped, you do he helped donate the to the channel. That makes it easier for people to understand because if not, people are going to be like, oh, so, you know, you know how people. Yo, JB, you see the shirt? Yes, sir. The ultimate yep. hustler's ambition. 
Like Jay Z said, I got this. I got the line coming out soon, which is gonna be rap line, a rap line from GAC. So it's gonna be basically some rap lines here and there, you know, and and the shirts to match the lines or whatever. I already got this one, the Ultimate Hustlers Ambition, which is Jay Z. I got uh, Eminem. Is am I the good guy or do I just play like him? Love that line. Um, what was the other one? I, uh, oh, the Nas. Uh, hate equals confused admiration. Word. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm gonna do that little line shit. But wait till you see the video I'm gonna drop. Oh, by the way, you, yo, should I announce what? Oh, we announce it with the video. I don't know which one. So yeah, do it with the video. Uh, you you try to be modest. You, you forgot what they I don't did. Remember, for us in Hollywood? I don't remember. So I don't want you, you to say it if I don't remember. You you forgot what, what they did for us in Hollywood? You can't even oh, fly yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. You can't yeah, you can say that. Yeah, why not? You can't even you, you couldn't even fly out there, bro. Like I mean, I'm I was like trying to get JB, but he had to work. He couldn't take the time off, man. He's dedicated to to helping his company grow bigger, so he couldn't fly out there. But I want to announce that me and JB are part of the Hollywood Walk of Fame now, and the Ultimate Playlist has made the Walk of Fame. Where? That was dope. Oh, all right, cool, cool, seven or two. Yeah, so we're going to release the pictures. Uh, I was at the ceremony. JB couldn't be there, so, you know what I mean? We're a team, though. You there? We're a team, though. We're yeah. a team. I didn't, take, I, I didn't take a picture with your star, though, because I was like, you know, but we did take a picture of your star, and then, you know, my star in the Walk of Fame is there, too. We're right in front of the Adobe Theater. You know, we're big time now. Yes, sir. You know I mean? And, yep. uh... JB was not yeah. allowed to bring the oxygen tank or the tank. <laughs> Yo, he's Damn, good. JB. Yo, Cavalli, bro, man. I ain't fucking with Cavalli today. I, 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 nah, I, 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 I love, love that shit. I'm going to put him off, Cavalli, because I seen you under that hair dryer. When you Yo, had your baby. hair all looking all pretty, looking like a bad bitch under the... Uh, oh, under the, sexy. Uh, yeah, he was he was smiling and going like this with his head. Cavalli like be looking at like the off, boy. Cavalli be putting the curls on, and then when the curls come off, he will put the camera on. Cavalli was twirling his hair like. <laughs> Cavalli get to the bar, though, Cavalli. Yo, yo, JB, you have to start getting on this rose gold shit, dog. Like, yo, we be going with harder rose gold stuff, bro. I There's know, but when I go on, on, it's either I be at work or I be sleep. Bro, but you need to follow the chat, bro. Don't listen to what Rose be saying. Rose just sound crazy when he talk. You gotta listen, you watch the catch chat. on the replay. You gotta catch that you chat, catch man. Yeah. Bro, Goofy up there with his with his hairline looking. He look like Kevin Durant, but like the like the the the, the five eight. He look like the five eight. Uh. Two hundred million dollars less version of Kevin Durant. <laughs> he fucked up. He canned himself yesterday. He canned up yesterday. He fucked up. We now gotta I know what he looked like. Yeah, DC, DC thirty three got a cam up. Fuck that. Oh, that nigga, he's scared. He's scared, but I ain't even worry about him no more. I can see he ran. He went in those chat talking shit the other day. He ran out as soon as I walked in. That's what bitches do. Like, no disrespect to the bitches for putting that animal on y'all. He put hey, up a right. pic from from twelve years ago when he was in the gym. Oh, you don't take you don't take I don't take men like that seriously. They they they, they cowards, bro. How you gonna tell me, Yo Kavali, you in here still? Let me give me the one of you in here, bro, because I gotta tell you this because you know I know how you love going in on people, and you can use this. Please use this video. But bro, how are you gonna tell me put my face diaper on when I'm in Hollywood Boulevard where it's a democratic state? Where of course the Democrats are gonna allow you, are gonna make you wear masks. You're gonna tell me to put a, my face diaper on, but yeah, you go on Dosis panel with a mask on, looking like you kidnapping somebody. Exactly. You look like the Taliban kidnapper. That's crazy. What is, he, like, I, what is he scared of? He a man. He's scared to show his face. Why? He's scared. He's just scared, bro. You're a coward. Do nothing, coward. That's what he I is. I can see if he was a female. And he say, you know what? I don't feel safe to cam up. Cool. But you're a grown ass man scared to cam up. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't want to put the ghost face name on him because we already have a person who who used that name to the to, to the fullest potential. So I'm not gonna yeah. throw that on her. But yeah. he's more like Casper, the friendly ghost type thing, you know? 
like trying to be hard, but he's not really he's really scared of his own shadow type thing, you know? Exactly. Not that like me, like me, like me. I landed in Newark very comfortably, although I didn't like to pay in the cab from Newark. It was too expensive. But JetBlue, I think JetBlue gave us a $150 uh, voucher. Fact. You see what Karali wrote? He said DC 33 scared, but he sent him pics to men. That pic is from 2006. That pic, that pic is from 2000, bro. From 2006. That's what Polaroid. <laughs> that shit was. That's the tower. The towers were up when when he did that. Word up. Rose Gold shit. They had Rose Gold beat. <laughs> He was gonna be playing with his hair, like twirling his hair and shit. What kind of shit is that? Remind me of my ex, nigga. Word up. Yeah, I think it surprised people that I'm. I'm I get it when when I start roasting. Like I think now they're used to it, but I think it surprised a lot of people. Yeah, they don't know how you do. Yeah, I know your personality, yeah. so it I didn't surprise me. Yo, bro, did you see? Um, have you caught Voice You and Sage in the morning? This is my second time catching them. Nah, mm. bro. A lot of a lot of chemistry. Very good show. She's a good host. He's just he's there, you know. The only thing I gotta give my my papa advice is change the color of the phone number because it clashes with the red. I can't see what the color of the number is. I would have called him just to fuck with him. No, I'm just saying. Is this is it still up? I'll I'll catch it on replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, you follow her, bro. She yeah. I, I, I like. This. I but the only thing I, I have a question is does she speak Spanish? Because I, I thought she was Dominican, but. Um, she read Papi and Papa wrong, and this kind of sounded weird. Come, like if I said something weird out there. Where, where? But but it was good. It was a good show. It was talking about everything, the vaccine and shit like that. It was pretty good. What well, I caught it. Then I had to go catch Power. You know, my girl was like, "Yo, we gotta watch that Kane and shit." I'm like, "Fact." Gotta catch up to a lot of shit. Where? That Kane. That Kane and show was fire, dog. Again, better and better. No, and what you um, what you drinking? Coffee. Coffee and cigar with Gabe, my bro, my bro. Right, Coffee and cigars right. with Gabe. <laughs> he put they having sex is going to be Bimmer Street. <laughs> grown ups, that's what grown ups do, buddy. I mean, some there's a lot of people on on YouTube that aren't doing that, so you know, shout out to Sage for actually doing it. If it's if it's happening, I'm not saying they are or not. It's not my my business to, to even care. But they do have good good chemistry. So we use something else besides the B though, cause can we use something else besides the B? Cause I'm not blood and I'm not crit. So can I just use <laughs> everything with a G for for Gabe? Chemistry, uh, Gompton. What else? What's the other one? Gompton, Gompton. Uh, what's the other shit? What else we do? Uh, California, like, you know. I don't know about this old B shit, bro. I don't get shot up in the streets. I'm for, I heard. Yo, did you watch Cavalli's new videos? I mean, some of them I can't. I can't. I can't go crazy, you know. But yeah, I see Cavalli. I always he, catch Cavalli. He did one on uh oh fuck Cavalli. What was it? He said, "Scroll up. Read his comment about Goof." Uh, on which on 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 his uh, on your pay on your thing. Uh, there was a video earlier that had me dying. The Rose Gold video. He did a, uh, like a, a, a like a nine minute Rose Gold video talking because of the whole chat yesterday or whatever. No, not not Rose Gold. Uh, Tazo. It's about Tazo. It's about Tazo. Like when oh, Tazo, Tazo when Tazo was with him in the panel and got pissed. Bro, yeah. My girl. On your life. On, on my life. On this one, I, I can't read right now. I don't. I'm scared to get out this this uh page. I don't see it. Yeah, I can't. I'm scared to get out the face. But um, bro, bro, he did a he did a whole thing on Tazo, right? Now, uh -huh. mind mind you, I personally think Tazo Tazo's cool. I mean, I, I, he's a young man, you know, got ambition. Um, but his he he looked like he got custom made size ten fitted. <laughs> this is that nigga head big as fuck, bro. This has to be this has this has to make her sons look small. Word. That's a fact, dog. <laughs> I'll be going in on Tazo. Yeah. He, go, he be going to Rose like, yo, fucking Gabe, start shit again. Talk about my titties yesterday. Yeah, I got some nice silky ones, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they stupid. My, yo, it's funny because, you know, my girl, um, that day I went on top of the panel, my girl was a Victoria's Secret, right? So, 
like she's been having this whole thing because you know she's well swayed and all that. And but my girl, you know, is very heavy on top. So she um she's been having a trouble finding her bra size, like her, her, her right bra size, because you know she's not the same. It's not the same size. Her back has gone down or whatever. Bro, she found it. Sixty dollars for a fucking bra, dog. Sixty fucking dollars for a bra. I'm like, is it because it's Hollywood or is it just that's the price? She goes, no, that's the price. Any Victoria's Secret. I'm like, fuck, dog. I'm like, yo, the fucking we're about to make this shit smaller. I'm having fun with the big ones, but we might have to make this shit smaller, man. (laughs) You stupid. Mm, I can't afford that shit. Word up, sixty. Yeah, she starts a new job on on um, what is it? Not next Monday, the following Monday. Oh, by the way, JB, I wanted to talk to you. I'm gonna drop a video explaining how everything's gonna go. I just like you know, once I get back to the crib, I gotta put up the green screen to show everybody. But I do this thing every year. I think I spoke to you about it on my show, but you can see it on my Instagram and on my Facebook. Every year we do a. All right, so we during football season, it's a bunch of dudes from the block. I, I usually run it, right? So what we do is, you know that there's games from one to one? Uh, the Sunday games. Let's just put it this way. The, the whole Sunday game. The fantasy football? Yeah. So you every every game Sunday from the 1 o'clock to the 8 o'clock game, only players from those games are, are, are can, can be selected. So that way we can have the winner the same day. So everybody picks a team. Or you can put one team, three teams, four teams. Yeah, everybody pays $25 per team. So, like, I'll be putting in $100. Like, I pay $14. Um, my other boy puts in $100. He pays $14. So, right there, just with two people alone, we are 200 My brother puts in uh, $50. Uh, his boy puts in $50. My, my ex-brother-in-law does $50. Uh, three people from the hood do 75 So, we be putting pots up to, like, 400 500 and then top three gets paid, like, by percentage or whatever. So, I'm gonna, but I'm going to do this season because now that I'm on YouTube, I'm actually going to be live from one – to seven o'clock during the red zone hours, like you know the channel red zone or whatever, mm-hmm. and and I'll be updating. So if anybody wants to join, I'm gonna start a cash app just for the for the um for the fantasy football. So once I drop the video, anybody interested, I'm gonna drop the email for it, and then they or or you know um they can hit me up with it, and I'll explain it to y'all a little better. But I'm gonna you know that way they can see how it ran. But either way, Monday, uh, Sundays from one to seven. But for the next 18 weeks, I'm going to be on the um, computer, and people can see what's going on. And like I said, it's 25 hours per team, but you you like you pick two quarterbacks. You pick two quarterbacks from Sunday. You pick two running backs, two wide receivers, one tight end, uh, one defense, and one kicker. And then, and then you have to give what you believe will be the total point at the ending of the last game, the, the, the Sunday night game, just in case anybody's tied. The the points at the end, whoever's closer, yeah, it's, a up, it's a tiebreaker. Yeah, I do that every season, bro. We 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 go in. We had a, like a private chat on WhatsApp, but I already explained to everybody. I'm gonna do it on YouTube, so they they're excited. They're like, oh shit, we're going big. I'm like, more people join, even better, bro, because the bigger the pot, the more fun we have. Like, I'm okay with losing a hundred dollars if, if if you know, it's a huge a, a huge amount of people. But last season I won like four times, so you already know. I mean, Hell when you put yeah. in four teams, you have a better shot, you know. Definitely. Wolf said he got his brisket and a smoker. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna put. I I, I get what you what you're saying, Kavari, but I'm not gonna put the. I'm not gonna put because we use the ESPN score, scoring system, but I'm not gonna show ESPN's thing on my <laughs> on my page. I'm gonna just update everything, Kavari. Uh, Goof said he got his brisket and a smoker. So the chill, Kavali chill, thing. chill, chill. Whoa, 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 Kavali. Chill, yo, Goof. Send me some of that shit. I love brisket, dog. Brisket good as hell, bro. Brisket is the best, dog. Especially smoked. Oh, my God. I'm jealous. Now I want to eat snakes, too. What the fuck? Brisket and snakes, too? Is brisket and snakes? Cavalli said that must be project food. (laughs) Yo, yo, you know what's funny? Hey, Cavalli. uh, Cavalli, we're going to talk big when you talk right now. In England, the best food is brisket. (laughs) <laughs> nah, nah, nah. When it comes to brisket, I get in my feelings, dog. I'm a fat boy, dog. Remember that. <laughs> but nah, seriously. Um, in England, brisket 
are the best, dog. That's all I ate in, in, when I was in England. Two weeks in England, all I ate was brisket, bro. Everywhere I went, brisket, brisket, brisket. Oh, um, nine pounds, nine pounds, nine pounds, nine pounds. Especially when oh, it's made right, that shit is so tender. Yeah, he said he got a four and a half hours so far. That's like a, it was like eight hours to cook the nugget. Some people cook it for eight hours. Some people cook it for sixteen hours. If you got a smoker, you straight, bro. You straight in life. Fuck the barbecue. A smoker, you straight in life. Yes, sir. I, fuck vacationing. I'll be eating from the smoker wherever I, my vacation is. Cavalli said, "I'm from Trinidad. I'm not bursting with New England that menu." <laughs> Yeah, they need salt though. That's the one thing they need to add salt to. Cavalli like that oxtail, oxtail yeah, Cavalli, cabbage and rice and peas. Cavalli be frying. He be eating the. He be eating the um on camera. He be eating them salads. Smokes his blunt. And then he go eat potato chips. Fucking all that shit. Cavalli like that oxtail. Uh, Cavalli don't like know that. Cavalli. And that curry goat. Uh, Cavalli, you eat um you eat pork or no? Do you eat pork? You, Cavalli been with Spanish girls before. He has eat for needs once in a while. Definitely. Everybody, everybody who's been with a Spanish girl ate for needs once or twice or a million times. That's a fact. Real. Let me do my rolls. Let me do my rolls. I don't entertain a man that <laughs> don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, not for nothing, bro. You know what? I wish there was a place to get brisket around here. I'd definitely order that shit. You know what? In Newark, there's a spot called City Rub. That's your banging brisket, dog. Yeah, there's a place by me called Boss Hall. One day, if you come I, towards South Plainfield, I'll take you there. That shit good. Yo, what, what day you got off next week? This week, I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I so I only work I, Wednesday and Thursday. I only work two I days finish, this week. Once I finish your order, I'm trying to see if I head out there to, to go, because um, my girl wants to go see her daughter or whatever. So we can have some oysters or whatever. You're stupid. <laughs> some oysters. <laughs> yeah, boss hog barbecue. That shit is the best, bro. Bro, city rub is the shit, dog. You get the the, the I get the two the two briskets and then one 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 uh, pulled pork. I'm I'm straight, though. That's how man, I get he fat. Said he got eight pounds of beef. God, that's good, man. God, I'm telling you, I don't really want brisket, dog. I hope you ain't you, eating you, that all by yourself, bro. <laughs> you, you you burn you burn the, the edges, right? You burn the tip, the tip of the of the brisket. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Cavalli wrote that he eats salad and fish smoothies. Yeah, smoothies are good after workout. I'm I'm I am i am i am going back to the gym tomorrow. I haven't gone to the gym since I left. Um so I tell you that Cavalli, gym, Cavalli he man lean and he ripped. He, he got that. Cavalli be on Cavalli that's, like most of that is genetics, Cavalli. Don't act like that's all working out, boy. Yeah, he's talking. Yeah, yo, Cavalli. Cavalli, no, Cavalli works out. Cavalli works out. Snuggins just yeah, he works out too, but he he's naturally. Snuggins is the drug. Like for huh? Snuggins is the drug. For Snuggins is the drugs that make him skinny. Cavalli actually works out. <laughs> I don't know why Snuggins got why Snuggins wanted to fuck with me, and now he I think he regretting fucking with me, bro. Goof Entertainment <laughs> that cook because you're gay in the world with Jay Quill. Cavalli stupid. <laughs> I never seen that video. I've heard about the video. I never seen it. I don't even think I want to see it. Not for him and the fam. I feel you. Yo, Word Kevin up. Durant is your big brother. Kevin Durant coming today? He said, "JB, it is genetics. It's natural. You're right about that. Yeah, I know. One of my boys is Trini, and he lean <laughs> like you." And he don't even work out. He just naturally lean. I'm like, damn. He got an eight pack and anything. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, bro. Some people can, some people can't. I I had the cheat code, and the cheat code still ain't finished his job yet. So I gotta hit that gym. I mean, I'm down to 80 pounds. So I mean, it's something. You know, compared to when I was in January. Yeah, when you first the, last, last time I saw you, you was down like what 40 yeah. or 50. So yeah, you good, bro. But I was. I, I think I was. Was I telling to you or, or, or talking to somebody else about it? Because I was looking at, I have bought some jeans, right? Um, now I'm a size 38 or whatever. So I put the jeans on before and it was no problem. But now it's kind of, uh, now it's kind of weird because the jeans look tighter on me now. But it's not that I, the waist closes right, no problem. The problem now is that with all the walking that I do, 
and even I, I walk a lot in Vegas, walk a lot in LA, walk a lot in Cabo. With all the walking that I do, my legs got more muscular, and my legs have already been big, big as a motherfucker. Like I don't know if you can see it, but my legs fucking, I got the monster calves. I see you. I got the monster calves, so just to get slim pants above them is a problem. So now the jeans that I got fit me tighter because my legs gotten so much more muscular than my, you know, than than my whole body. I'm like, shit, can I walk on my arms or something? You're going to have to get custom-made jeans and shit, too. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, I can't, I, you know what, it's for trying to wear, uh, I'm, I'm trying to be like Cavalli with them tight-ass shits that he be wearing, but. The skinny jeans? Yeah. Cavalli, yeah. Cavalli, Cavalli says they're euro, I say they're tight as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. They banging they on each other. Too? Yeah, that's what I love to see. I love to see the people banging on each other. Yo, good, man. <laughs> He's saying <laughs> Gabe Jesus <laughs> size. 15. I was close. I was 44. I was 44. I ain't even mad at that. I was 44, but I had to burn it to know the whole time. That's what's up. Fucking shit turned off. <laughs> yeah, I had to I, I had to burn it that shit the whole time, bro. Like you yeah, know, bro, Burlington I'm about had to, had, to, about to head to out to the barbecue it. and shit. So I'm gonna holler at you, bro. Do your thing up here. All right, my brother. You already know. Yes, Pick me up later. All right, bro. Let's do this. Let's do this. Everybody in the chat, see ya. There goes JB, living life to the fullest, the way it's supposed to be done. Clearly, your property isn't big enough. That wasn't the woods. That was my. Oh, damn. I, I haven't seen the video, so I don't know. I don't know how big the shit looks, but I mean. Hey, listen, bro. You got other YouTubers that man. I've met JB. Didn't uh, these four dudes meet each other up in in uh, with Lazo and them? They, it's a top cheese day. That's what I'm saying. People sometimes take take uh, this YouTube shit to heart, man. Like, bro, life is a lot harder than what YouTube gives you, man. Life is a whole lot harder than what YouTube gives you. If YouTube was my biggest concern, bro, I'd be the happiest nigga in the world. And mind you, I take everything with ease. Yo, I don't know if y'all noticed, but my shades have gotten darker as the sun has come out. GAC, number one brand. Okay, okay, that's good. In in, in Georgia too, right? Yeah, so that's pretty good. I was saying that um, when we grew the weed, we had two properties in West Virginia, um, but it was like right at the borderline, so if you Go to one side of the property, it's really Maryland, and the other side was Virginia. So that way, in case the, the cops came, you could go over to the other side, and you're safe unless it becomes, unless the feds are around. So at that point, the cops can't cross over, so we can, we can escape. We had everything planned to a T there, bro. That was an 18-property lot. Well, two lots worth 18-acre 18, 18, 18 property. So it was crazy. We used to have to the, 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 the four-wheelers to roam around and shit. But Goof, do you have uh, do you have ATVs and shit in there or no? Because I mean that property sounds big enough to have ATVs and all that shit in there. <laughs> yeah, Kavali stupid. Kavali love that man. Kavali got me saying mad content. Kavali be ruining my binocular, man. My binocular, binocular. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking to the G's. Fuck that BSC shit, bro. We stuff from O. Everything's with G's now. But you already see it. Ultimate Hustlers Ambition shirt. I did that one for JB, but I ended up making one for me. And again, got the hat on. Got the everything. Everything is is um. I'm my own commercial. I'm as big as a billboard. I might as well walk. I'll be a walking billboard. Um, Cavalli, no horses or animals to it. Well, I mean, technically, Cavalli, he, I think he, he hunts his own gators and, and cooks them. So I, I think he does have animals there. <laughs> but Cavalli, you're not in the, you're not in the woods, bro. You're in the city. What the hell you need horses for? Yeah, you're doing better than me. I mean, I'm pretty sure my rent is more, more expensive than both y'all rents together. 
fucking over here, bullshit ass apartment, fucking two grand a month. And then I pay my, my cousin's rent, which is about 800 a month. And that's just because they, they grandfather her, her rent in because they've been living in that apartment for like 40 plus years. Um, I think it's like 25, I, I, front and back or just front? If it's front, I, I could do it for 20. If it's uh, front and back, it's 25. Mm. You see, Goof, I, I'll give you that one. For uh, I don't know about Cavalli's situation, but in my situation, I have a car. I have a, a 2018 Honda Pilot that I, you would never see me driving it. That you saw me driving the drop trucks and everything because we're in another state. But here you would never catch me driving it because I'm not supposed to drive. I got no no license. Goof, you're for closer number three. Wow. Yo, Cavalli be needing to go on that Rose Gold shit, but there's, like, there's so many people that be going at Cavalli. But Cavalli good at roasting, bro. But Goof, Goof, what's up with the business, bro? That business is is moving, huh? The because I remember you told me you had the sanitation uh so, sanitation thing going on. Um, that's a pretty good idea, bro. That's a good business. I mean, I don't know how the trash is over there, but like over here, I don't think you could do that in New York, in, in the city at least. You can do it probably outside the city limits, but not in the city. He's going to show the card title. Oh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't caught none of that. I didn't know I wasn't subscribed to you, Cavalli. Like, uh, I wasn't getting your upload, so what was it? I think yesterday I said, yo, what's up with Kavali? Kavali's not dropping videos no more? Like, I'm I'm, I'm shocked by that. And when I, I said, let me type it, I said, oh, damn, he dropped a shitload of videos. Ooh, Kavali shots fired on that one. You trying to say, Goof, he went to L.A. for that? Just like I flew to L.A. for static, he flew to L.A. for DQ? Oh. Hey, listen, I don't want to talk bad about that girl. I don't have no clue what she's about. <laughs> but listen, anybody wants to pay for my trip to L.A., let me know. I'm, I'm, I'll take it. Although L.A., out of the three places we went to, L.A. was not the... I've, I've, like I said, I've done L.A. before for, for, for over two weeks. My girl wasn't as impressed because, you know, how many bums are on Hollywood Boulevard. But when we went to Santa Monica Pier and everything was pretty cool. Well, how are you still at, uh, Cavalli? Well, how are you? Well, was that? Is it Hollywood Boulevard too? Or? Um, yeah, because I, I chose the Lowe's because it was right there next to the Dolby Theater. That was that was the the whole premise. That was right across the street from the Floyd Mayweather boxing gym or whatever. Uh, Goofy ain't been on an airplane all year. Oh, oh you sit next to LAX? Uh, that shit was too far for me, bro. I wish. I mean, looking back, I wish I would have done that and rented the car. Oh yeah, I wish I would have done that and rented the car instead of. Um, staying in Hollywood Boulevard, bro. They were trying to charge fifty dollars a night for the for, for parking, bro. This shit wasn't worth it. But don't get it wrong, the Lowe's Hotel was three hundred a night. That shit was crazy, and it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. I mean, the view was beautiful and all, but I even told them like, "Yo, y'all need y'all need to start cleaning the windows, man." And there was a cup that fell, and the cup was there for the three days, and the house cleaning came three days. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at, I was actually, before the pandemic hit, I was going to fly because uh, I forgot the theater that's in Ang- Inglewood. Um, I don't know if it's Gibson Theater or some shit like that. <laughs> Come on, stupid. There was a theater that I wanted to go to because uh, Aventura was doing a concert. My girl wanted to see them live, but then the pandemic hit and I canceled that out because it was either Miami or... Or LA, if she, at that point she never seen LA, I was gonna take her there, but she's seen LA now, so she's like, fuck it, I wanna go back to Vegas. She loves Vegas a lot more. That's that the Vegas, that strip is fire, man. And the weather, 
106 degrees, you don't feel it. Right now, it's 80 degrees in New York, and it's comfortable, but there's no humidity right now. Later on, when the humidity kicks in, it's over. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know. Goof, you do you do you block your like like this is this is my this is my thing like the the vacation we took in April for my birthday, I recorded a lot but I wasn't blogging yet so it was remember I was at war with with Brin Gang or whatever so I was trying to floss and talk all my shit or whatever I mean I we stood in every time I travel we stay in the best places I don't I I stopped staying in shitty places years ago, um it's like England and everything we stood at the uh when we went to London we stood at the Holiday Inn, uh, right across the street from everything. Um, yeah, about three, he said. Oh, he went, goof. <laughs> Yo, but goof, you know that my, one of my boys, uh, well, actually, this, this is my, my, my OG. This is the dude that I learned business from. Right now, he's the one that's in Detroit. That I'm going to have to go help out. He got a mansion. He built a he built a mansion in um in Overtown. So it's crazy because when you pull up to Overtown, everything looks like shit. And then you see his house and you're like, this shit does not belong here. No, no, I don't know. I'm not gonna mention anything about no kids, but I know I know Goof look like Kevin Durant. Did you see the? Did you, you guys see the meme with Kevin Durant? They showing Kevin Durant's hair all spotty and shit, and they showing his sneakers looking the same exact way. <laughs> I thought I mean I think two days ago, actually was funny as fuck. It's, it's cheaper not not to have kids than to have kids. Not too that much. If I had kids, I wouldn't be traveling anyway. I probably would still, but the wifey wouldn't go. <laughs> Get the hell away. I'd be like, Rose, try to get my, my, my waitress for myself. How many kids you got, Goo? Oh, God, y'all going in on kids. Can we keep it to each other instead of kids? Much better. It's more fun when it's on each other. I prefer I prefer I prefer being on each other than, than than family. I don't like that family unless unless they're involved. Like yeah yeah okay. My wife's been seen already. So yeah, I want to diss my wife. Ah, right, it's fine. I could diss back on her. But besides that, anybody else? Yeah yeah no man. I mean, Kabali, honestly, it's easy to diss on Goof himself, man. I do it all the time. Yeah, no need to no need to bring in the kids. Um. Yeah, I like I like I like talking about Goof's hairline, even though I've never really seen it. But I'm going by what those says. Yeah, I got you, seven two. I mean, you live in Vegas, bro. The vacation is going out strip. <laughs> like I'm like, I'm, you know what thing seven zero two? I was wondering. I was like, why haven't, why haven't uh, like you had the the like me? I I dropped so many videos in Vegas. I'm like, yo, seven zero two should be doing the same thing because. It brings in new people. Like I dropped that New York, New York video. Um, it, it put the Frank Sinatra on it, and it's like at 800 views. Which, mind you, you know, I, I reached 10,000 views two days ago. Which, in two months, to me, I'm 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 happy with that. I didn't see that coming. Um, you know, the subscribers ain't there yet, but there was time. It'll, 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 I'm assuming it'll go up. I mean, I'm gonna be doing so much different stuff that it's gonna be crazy. But I dropped 105 videos on vacation, and I got. So much more to drop because I still haven't even dropped the clear boat ride. I still haven't dropped the clear boat ride. The clear boat ride, y'all gonna be like, wow, what the fuck is that? So wait till y'all see that one. And I'm gonna do a lot of a lot of editing videos. Oh, uh, you even got a daughter? Oh man, Kavali, you lost on that one. You even got a daughter. Um, yo, goof. You know what? The, the one thing about the movie shit is, bro. Um, YouTube fucked it up for me because now I'm on YouTube all the time. Like yesterday, we were watching the Met game while I was listening to and, and chatting on Rose's shit. And the Mets had two games yesterday. 
Hmm. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Let's 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 get on Goof himself, man. It's better. And Goof, let me get some of that brisket, bro. I'm fucking starving right now. I'm about to tell my girl, yo, start cooking some brisket. She like, nigga, you ain't got no smoker. Get the fuck out of here. I'm fucking eat some eggs or some shit. <laughs> my broke ass, my bum life. Yo, 702, um, but you know what I did in Vegas a lot? In and out, man. That in and out burger is the best in the world, bro. Fat boy shit, man. I like I like Vegas. I like Vegas. But when you get away from the strip, it's so different, man. But it's cool to see all these little casinos. Yo, Kike, you you put did I I've seen your kids too, no? I think I see I've seen you with the kids in um in in the gym or some shit like that. I, I, if I recall, I don't remember right, but. Oh. Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. Nah, KK, that's some snitching shit, dog. Nah, don't talk about no black beauty. I don't know who she is, but chill, we gotta keep that on the low low. Ooh. I know this much. Snuggin's scared to go down south in, in from or from Orlando. Anything from West Palm down, niggas won't go to. Um, seven oh two, man, yeah, bro. Uh, yo, seven oh two. So, but did you change your email? Cause I emailed you, bro. Um, if you got a different email, email me. Um, cause I still, I still got you. We couldn't, we couldn't, bro. You know why? Um. Uh, they they only open from Thursday to Monday, and Thursday at 3 p.m. Our flight we left Thursday. We ended up getting pushed back to Thursday, and Thursday we left at 11. So we couldn't we couldn't do it. But that's why we want to go back. Uh. So wait, uh, Goof, that was to me or to to cover? I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of lost. But yes, seven two. We wanted to do the observation deck. The, the we want to do the zip line. We want to do everything. But with the days we got there, they weren't open because it's only open from from Thursday to Monday, and we got there on Sunday, and we didn't realize that the rule was Monday to Thursday. Um, I mean, to Monday only. If not, we would have done it that same day. But remember, we got there so late; it was a problem. Oh, yeah, Biscayne is beautiful, bro. Biscayne is gorgeous. I ain't, I ain't mad at that. The one place I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to go to again is the Keys, bro. The Keys is nothing but traffic out there, bro. You need to get, you need to be on a boat to go to the Keys. Hmm. Yeah, it's about Little Haiti's around, around Overtown, no? I like coffee, bro. Love that shit. Wait, this game? You know, I used to party a lot when I used to go to Miami a lot. Um, Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove was the shit. Them Cuban girls out there. Woof. Fire. I got you. Let me see if I can. How I can do this again? Kitchen cabinet thirty thousand. Ah. It depends, though, Cavalli. I mean, I've seen thirty thousand beautiful, thirty thousand horrible. So it just depends how the, the look is. Sometimes, hey, sometimes you can do a better job on your own, bro. Now, it all depends on, on, on how you're moving or whatever. But thirty thousand is bread, though. Thirty thousand definitely is bread. Um, I'm supposed to go to Orlando again, though, to, to go visit my homegirl because she fixed up her house, so she wants me to see it. All right, we got Cavalli up here. Cavalli, go back into McDonald's. Your your, your internet's off. I'm 
Yeah, come on. I'm, I'm not seeing you. Yo. Come back up, come on. I, 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 it, it didn't go through. Nah, but you gotta go to Miami, uh, seven oh two. I mean, you go with the family to Orlando. If you go by yourself, no. Nah. Wait, somebody came in with <laughs> shit out your big brother. What? Oh, shout out. Do you trying to say shout out? Who, who, who is this? Is it a troll account or is it really who I think it is? Oh, I don't know, bro. It's, it's stream melody. I don't know. I'll drop the link again. No, I'm not hating, bro. But sometimes fly shit is whack, too. I mean... Just because they got, what's the nickname? Tell me the nickname and I, I got you. The nickname. Because people be doing troll accounts. You already know. Yeah, um. Come on, come back up, bro. I, 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 I mean, hey, JB made it look easy. I don't know. Stream melon is, is new. I got you, boy. All right. What up, book? My big bro right there. Yeah, but I don't know how JB made it work that, that easy, bro. I don't know. It's just like this stream melon shit. I mean, I want to fuck with stream melon more than stream yard, bro, but stream melon sucks. I mean, stream, stream yard stuff too much. Yo, Cavalli, but next March, I'm definitely going to be in Port St. Lucie, bro. Because I, I want to go see the Mets training camp. <laughs> KK found out he's going to sell a crib. <laughs> yeah, but 702, man. Orlando's cool for the family. When it comes to... Going to uh to chill, Orlando's whack because it's it, everything closes at ten o'clock. You can't you 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 can't get liquor no more. And when you go to the clubs at two o'clock, it's done. If you go to Fort Lauderdale, you go to Hollywood, to to, to Miami, Coconut Grove, all that should be open late as fuck. So it's better it's better for partying. But when you go with family, Orlando, because you got Universal and everything, you better off. And it's not that expensive compared to to L.A. and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to. I don't know if, uh, what the issue is. I mean, yeah. JB got up with no problem, so I don't know. KK, you you buy McDonald's or something? You trying to use that McDonald's Wi-Fi? Oh, he nice at it, Cavalli. Your son's good at soccer. We grew up with soccer because my 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 South American heritage, but I never I never I was never a fan of it. I wasn't a fan at all. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, well, what position he's playing on is soccer, bro? Uh, do your thing, Cavalli. Do your thing, man. You already know, bro. We talk. <laughs> I can't, I can't sit there and watch soccer, bro. Baseball, they like, I know the Metro playing right now. They were, uh, they were winning last time I saw, but I didn't get to finish watching the game. I wanted to come smoke the cigar, or whatever. Um, but seven oh two, what, what, what other you, you have you ever been to the East Coast or no? No, nobody's typing right now, but you already know. Yeah, man. So this is the the Bronx Park. I like just sitting here, getting away from the wife a little bit, coming out, smoking my little cigar, smoke, drinking my coffee, chill out. You know, got the 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 OGs playing uh 
Domino's next to me. I got other kids running around and shit. I'm going to be at my Carlos, the GAC. You know how we do, bro. Cavalli. Uh, well, I don't know, man, but I wish I wish I had that I had that issue. If it's true, I wish I had that issue. I mean, I, I don't know. Cavalli be starting, though, so I can't even get mad. If that's true, I can't even get mad. Tommy, what up, brother? Hold on, man. Yo, Tommy, I, I I was listening to you on Doc a little earlier, but I was I wasn't really able to like you know I can't type in your chats, bro, because of uh because of um you already know there's a couple people there that just started blocking me, so it's no point. Look, I took out the the white handy label, so we we get into the end of the cigar. I can't really type in your chat though, man, because people start kicking me out and shit so like and i don't i don't like the whole wrench being a wrench thing neither so i like kind of like not being a wrench but when i get kicked out it's like what am i gonna do jump on the panel you know but i i, I saw that why don't you try stream melon too uh tommy because if stream i'll kick you out i think stream melon lets you know but um wait seven two did i miss you Oh yeah, seven two. I just read the the Roberto Clemente. Yeah, bro, Roberto Clemente had a makeover. They spent like twenty four million dollars on fixing the whole part. It's completely different. All right, somebody's there. Oh. Tommy boy. What's good, bro? Chilling, man, chilling. But yeah, I was I was listening to you earlier. So is it Streamyard that blocked you, or is it YouTube that blocked you? What? Oh, uh, oh, do- oh, 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 uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, because of that, for that, you stream melon. Uh, yeah, 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 I didn't even think of that. But I got a backup channel anyway going on right now. Yeah, you never emailed it to me. I told you to email it to me. I was going to oh, email okay. you now to tell you email it to me because I couldn't, you know, I saw Doc talking about it, but I couldn't catch it. Like, I I, I think it's a 2.0 or something like that. But yeah, I yeah, yeah. I'm, I wasn't I'll, sure about uh, it. I'll email it to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But what's going on with you, man? How's everything going? It's going all right, bro. How are you? I'm chilling, man. We're back in New York. Try to, I think today I'm officially feeling better with the time difference, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. time difference kills, bro. Like, right now I'm at 2 o'clock still. With that 2 o'clock? Time. Yeah. Yeah, yo, you got a big head, man. I'm going to fuck you up if I see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you. You notice that it shocks everybody to see how I... uh. That I'm a roaster. I'm actually a roaster. That's a fact. A lot of people, a lot of people are shocked. I'm like, oh, that's what I did all, all, all the time growing up. I have my, listen, right here, hold on. I'll right show you. Right here. I have a tattoo. That's my mom and my best friend. Okay. They both died, they both died on, the thir- on the 13th of a month, and they both died at 27 years old. So I got the 13 and the 27 there. That's crazy, bro. Yo, so... He was a he was a comedian. Like this guy's short, funny as fuck. Well, he used to be on the trains collecting money, just just making jokes on the train. Like he was an ambitious hustler. Yeah, but he died in a car accident in South Carolina or whatever. So he um with him, I I picked up the wittiness of roasting because he would roast me all the time. Imagine <laughs> big fat dude and he's short and skinny. So I would I was always, always stuck with him when he'd be like close to the end of the street with him playing football or something. I'll grab him. He'd be like, Yo, what are you doing? I'm like. Nah, you almost committed suicide. You almost fell off the fucking, uh, the, what you call that shit? Um, the sidewalk. Damn. Because you got the, 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 got the little, the little, the little thing down there. That's too hard for you. That's too hard for you. Relax, bro. Whenever we're about to get on another street, yo, you want to, you need a ladder to climb? Like, yo, I used to fucking go in. So, I wanted to join that whole wittiness at all times, but you know, since I came in the way I came in, it was a little different. But now, you know, like I say, I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to get disrespectful on your boy because you're here, but. Um, you know, some people just want to keep it going. And I think I'm if like, you and him have a conversation game, I think you guys would be straight. Nah, man. nah bro, I don't well, like people like that. One thing was a stage. With stage, it was more of a... I was right stage, about that, though. Remember that? But you were right about stage because me and stage are very similar. We're very similar. And the thing with stage was that um, I just didn't... I was I was shocked by the whole doxing at the beginning thing, you know? So that, that kind of pushed me to that whole point where I was like, I kind of like the, you know, you can already tell I like confrontation. Right. So to, to me, it was fun. 
But, you know, um, when it comes to this guy, it's just, he just keeps doing it, bro. Like, yo, bro, I am not nobody's handler. I mean, like, right now, the, the only reason why I don't go on him now is because I respect Doc. I like Doc. So, I li- listen to Doc. I don't care if Doc gets drunk or not. It doesn't bother me. What he says doesn't, you know, it, it makes me laugh sometimes. He's, ain't nobody, everybody talks about Carlos, but when Doc does this, oh, that's yeah. the funniest shit in the world. Yeah. That's when you know he's, he has his drink and he's ready to go in. This is funny as hell. Man. Nah, Cavalli, chill, 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 Cavalli. We're not going that route. We're not going what? that route. What? What? You got that faggot on your chest still? He's in the chat, yeah. He's not a bitch ass, dude. He's a Cavalli, bitch you ass, could, dude. Cavalli, you could get a Tommy all you want, but everything else, bro, I can't, I can't co-sign at all. You know, it's not, it's not, I don't, I don't do that. I don't like that whole family thing, especially, like, even with the whole thing. So you know Tommy, that dude brought up with no morals. He's a piece of shit. He lives in a group home, bro. <laughs> It, it's, it's YouTube, bro. It's like, you know. His mother like owns a whole... group home. His mother no, owns no. a group home. And, and, you know, he's taking advantage of his mom's. But now, he's so 100 me, pounds let soaking let wet. Let question. Yeah, yeah. Now, Snookins is like 60 pounds soaking wet. Listen, I want to ask you this question, Tommy. And yeah, I, wanna, yeah. I, I want you to be completely completely honest with me. Yeah. On that, that... That video that those drop of the two white boys dancing, if it wasn't for the situation you were going through, would you have not laughed at it? Uh, yeah, I may have. I may have. I, 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 I said would. it on that live. I said it on that yeah. live when you asked that. I said that. Yeah. Yeah. As much as I I'm can't like, stand that motherfucker, he does shit because he's so dumb. It's funny at times. You know what I mean? If, yo, but not it, everything. That, not everything. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you have to agree, agree with him on everything or whatever. But honestly, uh, to me, it's like, I'm like I've already picked up your sense of humor. You and like like I've I've told I've said it before. I've said it about me. Anybody can say whatever they want about me. I, I laugh it off. If I could confront them, it's even better because you know people don't expect me to be a person who confronts. I don't know why. I'm from the Bronx. I'm a businessman from the Bronx. That's what we do. We argue all day. I'm a Was JB in the lab band, man? Was JB in the lab band? He, he he was here earlier, but he went to a barbecue. Now he he lived the life. Like me was a vacation, and that's it. It's done. Yeah, I've seen him around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just, he's been working. He works for, he's, he, the last couple of weeks, he's worked a lot. So when I was on vacation, he was earning that money for the channel. Yo, Cavalli, I mean, man, when's that, when's that court date coming up for the strangulation last month? Oh, man. You see, I can go in on each other. That's, that's okay, right? Sick motherfucker. That police report is nasty. I Google that motherfucker's name. That shit pops it. right up, bro. Um, yeah. To me, to me, I, no, listen, like to, to me, Cavalli. You're done out here, motherfucker. <laughs> Cavalli's entertaining as fuck to me. I mean, what? I don't need Cavalli it's to be annoying, the most stand-up bro. individual. That dude, uh, yo, I'll be honest, Gabe. Listen, man. Certain females. I mean, I've gone back and forth with them before. Obviously, you know, for a little bit. Then I just stop because you know what's the point. But anyway, yeah. this dude will literally rock a female's avatar. Not set aside Dose's daughter, which is how she initially even got on YouTube. That weird motherfucker in the chat. He's the one that brought that girl's avatar to YouTube. And Dose was saying, I love you to that guy. What the fuck is that? That's yeah, crazy. That's, that's the thing. Like, with me, listen. I get what you're saying. And I, I, I can agree to you to a certain extent. But at the end of the day, not only Cavalli, everybody has, a lot of people have Dose that used to rock with Dose. I... A lot, a lot of people used to rock with those, um, used to have his Facebook, have his Instagram or whatever. So it's an easy picture to get. So at the end of the day, once you put it out there, like you can get pictures of me being fat again, or you can get pictures of me being slimmer, or you get pictures of me with girls, whatever. Um, it's to a person's discretion to use it. I don't, I don't agree with it, but you know, if it's funny, it's, you know, I mean, I wouldn't laugh if it's about the kid, no. No, but that's it's like, fucking they, weird, like bro. Even, even when the whole stage thing went down, that they came up with Sage's avatar, that he thought it was me, I thought that was so distasteful because I'm like, what does his mom have to do with it? Like, I wanted to get at Sage. I didn't want to get at his mom. I didn't want to get at his, his sister. I didn't want to get at his family, his kids. I wanted to get at Sage because me and Sage were going through our little battle. But, you know, at the end of the day now, you know, I, 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 it's been a while before we even talked that. I, I kind of like Sage. I, I listen to him. You know, he's entertaining. He knows how to talk, and he's a Bronx dude like like me. So there's a lot of similarities to a certain extent. Um, but when it came to to the kids and all that, yeah, I don't agree with it, but I can't stop it. So right, you can't I mean, stop how, it. How, but, hey, come on, that's how do I get involved? Up. What's up, J Rock? 
yeah, how do I get involved in it? You know, like, I mean, like, even with Dosa's kid, like, with Dose. If Dose says something about somebody's kid, am I going to be like, damn, that's, that's, damn, I don't like it. Yeah, but am I going to tell him, yo, you got to stop that? No, I can't. That's no, not, you're that's not, not his head. Like, you know, like, you yeah. know, I, I get it. I get it. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, man. It's just, I'm just different, dude. I don't know. when Cavalli starts kids. roasting, when Cavalli starts roasting people, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. Yeah, he lies about shit, though, bro. It's, it's all lies. At least when I do it, I speak my truth, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, let's put it this way. Um, Bobby Bonds is the all-time home run leader, and we all know that it was all injection. But let's be honest. At the end of the day, he was still winning games with them home runs. I get it. I get it. This dude you know said I mean? that white boys can't roast. I murdered that dude with his own police report. What the fuck are you talking about, Cavalli, kid? <laughs> I murdered you with your own fucking shit, buddy. That's crazy. There's no coming back from that. You're still in the fucking... Dude, you're gone. You're done. You're nothing. You're done out here. Cavalli, like, Cavalli... Can't wait, he yeah, says. Yeah, Cavalli... Like I was like, I, to me it was shocking the day that he, he, you know, everything was cool with those and they went back. I'm like, what the hell happened? What did I miss? And I hit those up and those didn't even know yet. He was like, wait, Cavalli's this with me? I'm like, it's all for yeah, attention, bro. Nah, yeah, that's what he does. That's, yo, the videos, don't, don't get to Tommy. When you see Cavalli's videos, his laugh is the most contagious laugh on YouTube. But why is he yelling when he's talking though, bro? There's something wrong with that. <laughs> it's, it's a stick. It's a, it's stick. a little man. It's a little man syndrome, I guess. I don't know. Something, something's going on. It's funny, bro. My girl was like, he did the video about Tazo, right? And he put the, the old video about him when he because Cavalli always refers himself to the third to the third person. He's like the Rock. I'm, I'm telling you, he. he he, everything is it's Cavalli is not me. It's Cavalli. So it's like the three the the, the, the third person um, syndrome. So but when he's saying the story he pauses it and starts laughing, like my girl could not stop laughing hearing that shit about Tazo. Now mind you, am I gonna co sign everything he said about Tazo? I don't know Tazo personally. I like roasting him when he's on roses though. Nah, I know this um, though. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me cut you off. No, go no, I, I was just saying I was just saying that he was just it was uh the the laugh had me and my girl dying. It was just his laugh alone. Like he doesn't have to. He does some good roasting, but the laugh is the part that gets you because he laughs so hard that you're like this fucking guy, man. And you, Yo, you know, he always up. called me a cracker, right? He wants to call white people a cracker, but aren't your kids half cracker? Mm. Huh? Are, 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 are his kids? His kids oh half yeah, white? his baby mama's a big girl, big white girl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, did I have I, those, those did the, the picture. Those, he knows. He knows. I think those That's what I'm pictures. saying, man. How, oh, so how is, how, how is that funny when you call white people cracker, but your kids are half cracker? That shit don't make sense. See, that's why when he says shit, he's a fucking dummy. He's not even funny to me. And I'm not just saying that because I don't like him. I'm saying that because I want to put my fucking fist through his fucking scrawny skeleton face. That's why I say it. You got no like morals, it. no nothing. It's at each other. When it's at each other, I, I like it. I like it. You got nothing okay. going for yourself. Now, Tommy, my question. Um, now I know I've, I've, I've said this before. After after the services, it, it's a lot uh -huh. of re relief. After the services, you felt relieved, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I'm telling you, bro, it's a definitely. big difference. Once once it goes down, you're like the the lead up is the worst part. Like you're like yeah, going crazy. But once yes. you see the peacefulness, you're like, okay, you know what? It's over, right. resting in peace, you know, looking over us and, you know, yeah. keep living life. All that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the memories the memories are going to hurt, though. I'm telling you now, at the beginning, the memories hurt. They become better with time. Right. I know, I know, I know from experience, brother. Like, my dad, I was the host. lying as dudes out here who lie about everything and twist things around because they think it's funny. But, you know, it is what it is, man, because karma, <laughs> karma is good yeah. for me. It's not going to be good for you. Everybody no, got the. Everybody got the. Everybody got the. What they find funny now. Some people like it's like it's like with sex. So some people like torture. Some people don't. Right. You know. So it's, no, it's, it's so, so one's discretion. So you know, everybody got an audience. They just got to find who the audience is. But definitely, right. definitely, um, I I find his laugh contagious as fuck. So I'll be watching the videos just to hear him laugh. I think, yo, like. <laughs> So he you just look at him and laugh. He's an ugly-looking motherfucker, bro. I don't judge dudes for that, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Let's keep it a hundred, man. He looks like he hey, does hey. look like a fucking alien from the Predator. That's a fact. Cavalli, Cavalli, yeah. Cavalli be doing his curls, and then he comes on the videos afterwards. He takes the curls off, and he got the braids on again. He comes out the video. Oh no, his braids are tighter than roses. I see that much. This dude's on video shaking hands with cops and all types of shit. Like yo, weird hey, look, fucking I'm, person. I, I got a priest down the block. <laughs> Right, I'm, a I'm a, I'm a, nah. You know, it's funny though. It's, it, it's hilarious because when I used to work on, on, um, I used to work the penis stand, you know, doesn't remember I'm 40 years old. So a lot of the police force now, there's people that I went to school with. So right. now you get, you get, you know, some of the cops because when you were younger, you didn't know the cops because you didn't go to school with them. Now we're older. So some cops I actually know, like I've been on vacation with. So there was this female who I love her to death. She's a, she's a, a cop around that precinct, love her to death. She um, one day she comes up to me. She goes, "Yo, how's everything going?" I'm like, "Everything's fine." And then she goes to me. I go, "Yo, you know I'm not gonna snitch on nobody, right?" She goes, "Yo, they snitch on themselves. Right. They be snitching on themselves." So I started laughing. I'm like, "Yeah, you're right." And then uh, another time was uh, one time I had this stalker out there. I had this chick that was literally standing out there stalking me, bro, looking at me the whole. Eight hours shift that I would work out there. She's looking at me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck do I do? Like, I'm like, yo, can you can you walk away? Like, I'm not, you know, I don't want to disrespect you, but come on, like, you you standing there looking at me like if you, nah. I'm like, yo, my 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 fiance's gonna be pissed. Right. And she's like, nah, you know, you don't got no fiance, yo. So I had this this female friend. She was a, a undercover, and I know she worked around the around the way. So she literally calls me one day and she goes, yo, Gabe. Um, I'm gonna swing by. Are you there? I'm gonna stop by and say, I say, yo, I need you to help me. There's this chick that sucked me. I want you to act like you my fiance. Say, say no more. Now right. mind you, this girl's a very, very feminine girl, but she, you know, she likes girls. Um, so she comes and she gives me a kiss in front of everybody, and stalker, stalker went away because she saw the badge, saw the gun, and the kiss. It was done. I was oh like, shit! Yeah, it was done. I said, <laughs> she never came back. She yeah. never came back. That shit was this funny, crazy, yo. Bro. And that's like maybe like six years ago, bro. It's just crazy. That is oh, crazy. Oh, God. Wait, wait, who are you going on? Oh, Tazzo in here? Yeah, Tazzo. What's up with the side Tazzo. 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 Tazzo, man? What's up, Tazzo? Goof Drew. <laughs> 702. What's good? Yeah, man. 702, bro. 702. I'm jealous of that Vegas weather right now. Even though right now it's good in New York, bro. Clean up. What's Vegas. going on? Yeah, clean up. J Rock, my bro. We the lab, kid. Tommy with the lab now. No? No, oh, he's lab. in the lab? Clean up he what do you mean? Clean up was fucking on my videos fucking bigging me up the other day. Yeah, yeah, clean up his lab. <laughs> lab business. Germ clean up needed. You know, it's you all know? good, man. It's all good. It's all good. Nah, but yeah, that's shit ain't that serious, bro. Yeah, bro, it's not, man. That's what I say. I like that's what I like about your your personality, Tommy, because I mean like I said, even that day it was just because of what happened, but if you would have watched that video, because I could see whenever you watch a video about you or, or like like they say something stupid. Yeah. You laugh first before you start dressing. <laughs> you just start laughing. So I'm like, I do. I'm like, Yo, you know, you don't take it. You don't take it personal. That's the most. Nah, I, I really don't, yeah. man. This shit's funny as hell to me. Then now, don't get me wrong. There's certain fucking things on here that get me fucking fired up. But you know, for the most part, I just come on here to laugh. I don't. This isn't. This isn't nothing but fun for yeah. me. For real, for real. But you, you think know? you think me. Me jumping on, look, mind you, I never thought we'd ever jump on Doc because, like, like Doc, I think Doc has a mutual, we have a mutual respect for each other. Right. We will talk about each other, and I get that. But, you know, I, I you know, Doc, I'm not one of Doc's people, you right. know, and when the you whole thing, be. like, I'm literally, I, I, I like him, I, I, I'm, and I'm going to continue to listen to him. I just won't jump on the chat because, like I said, I'll get blocked and then they'll start talking shit. So that's the whole right. point. Like, it's like with your chat, too, sometimes, you know, I, we could talk, and then once, a certain individual comes in, I get blocked, or even Sluggers too. He does it too. So I'm oh, like, you know yeah. what? I'm not. Uh, yeah, I just listen in. You know, I'm going to be listening because I'm, right, I'm a right. YouTube guy. Um, and I'm, I, I've always said I'm entertained by you and Doc. Said, you know, but like, let's say for example, this whole thing that went down with Doc. I was going to go in on on this guy because like, okay, so what what happened to the checking part? I'm like, you know what? I don't want to get Doc involved in it. You know, this has nothing to do with Doc. And mind you, me and Carlos are cool now. So, you know, but like I tell Carlos, don't take this serious because you take it serious and it's, it's going to consume your whole life. So don't take it serious. You know, he said what he said. You know, he was drinking or whatever, whatever. And, and that's it. Like, let it go. You know, you have to let it go sometimes. Yeah, right. clean up. Yeah, 
Yeah, clean up, clean up. No, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, clean up. Thank you. Yeah, uh, man, so that's 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 the thing. Like to me, it's like I'm enjoying. Like this vacation was crazy because I have so much footage, Tommy, and I dropped 105 videos. Oh shit! In two weeks, like I've never thought I would be able to do that, and I did it, and I'm happy I did it because you know my girlfriend is very camera shy and me right. i've always been i've always i've never liked how my voice sounds over the air on the phone right. or whatever me i'm either. comfortable with it i'm comfortable with it now and i think the youtube thing gave me that, it did. that com comfort trust me you know? it did. yeah it does it does and it's a, it's a big difference now when it comes to like my girl my girl's very camera shy and uh -huh. you know on this trip she wasn't and I think that opened her up too. Like, mind you, not only is she okay. One thing is posting a picture for Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, but we're actually going on YouTube where people who don't know us could see it. And right. you know, she was very comfortable, and she she thanked me for it. She's like, I feel so happy. Her daughter looked at my my page. She said, Wow, y'all really, he really became a blogger. Right. And you know, it, it feels good. It feels good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make my page like an on demand page with a bunch of playlists. And I, I got this football thing coming starting next Sunday. I'm gonna be doing football live, um, little gambling fantasy football that I do. You know, I'm gonna drop a video explaining the whole details of it soon. But um, you know, I just gotta, I gotta finish off the orders I got. I got a shitload of orders. I just had to come down because I was like, I've been stuck at home the last two days just working. I'm like, a lot of orders, bro. Thank God. Right. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. Because you know, hey, I just picked up your merchant. Well, I, I, oh, hold on. Let me back that up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard I, it. I heard it. I heard yeah, it. I, I heard gave it you a shout out saying it was good material that you use. I don't fuck with yeah. the French dough the, shit, the, the, but the material is good. I will say that. Yeah, yeah, that shit. The shit feels silky. It, it is good material. You're not, yeah, you're not yeah. lying with that. So, I mean, you yeah. Know. That's why I went with it because I mean, I, and I, I get it at such a good price. Like I'm gonna start selling it. I'm gonna start selling it without anything. For uh, I'll probably put it for like the ten dollar mark, which is still a good price for that that kind of material. Right. But I'm just wait. I'm just waiting for my supplier to tell me, okay, we we got enough shirts to cover orders and stuff like that because right. they kind of went low. They went low, and I'm like, yo, I need I need you guys to, you know, let me know what it, where I could put it on a container. Like let's get this done. Like, I, right. I don't want to be without. I don't want to be without shirts in case I need them. You know. Well, that's a fact. I have a, I have a shitload of them in the house still, but you know that shit goes by quick. If you know, look at JB. JB got a. Uh, I got to do a bunch of shirts for JB, and now we're gonna put up um, the shows. The show shirts are um online. We're gonna put um, his his own brand online because JB got some follow some 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 following. A lot of females. Oh, I bet. Yeah. JB got some female followers, bro. Like I'm like, damn. That's what's up. Like, That's what's up. Yeah. He passed me a subscriber count already and he only got like ten videos. I got a hundred something videos already. He he got more subscribers. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, but you guys are a team. You'll be all right, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. You'll get it. You'll get it. Hey man, this <laughs> YouTube shit comes with its fucking <laughs> You already know how it goes. Right. I, I'm happy the like the way it started for me was so like I wanted the conflict, and then I said, you know what? It's really not worth the conflict. Like I said, I never came into YouTube thinking I'm going to sell a million dollars in merchandise. I mean, Dosa's merch, especially at the beginning, moved a lot. Um, it's still so. Like, I came back to four, four shirt orders, which is still something. Um, but I think it's from Beagle, because I think he started doing a Beagle. Let's keep it, let's keep it a hundred game. I know that's your man and all, but there's no way in the hell you're going to tell me that your shit doesn't sell more than his. Come on now, bro. Well, I got more. I also got more. I mean, his his... I really don't see many people buying that, bro. I, I'm going to tell you, the difference is just the website. On the website, if you do total shirts sold, I think those sold more shirts than I have in, in the website. Out of the website, I've sold a lot more. Because I remember, outside the website from New York, a lot of people buy my stuff. Remember, I have the yeah. corners and, and all that. So it's, it, I, I sell, of course, and for me, it's more profitable me selling mine. But for, um, I said those shirts, you know, it slowed down for a bit, but it, like I said, I came back to four artists that I didn't expect, and it's four different people. So I think it's off of Beagle. I don't think it's YouTube. I think it's uh, that Beagle, Beagle. movie he's doing. Yeah, he's, he's, he's on Beagle now. Yeah, he's on Beagle now. But my, my merch, uh, online is so, it's sold. Um, I haven't really put my sun, I haven't put my sunglasses up there yet. Um, I, I've been trying to work the perfect packaging for it, which now I do have it. Um, the headphones have sold a lot. I've sold a lot of headphones. How much are your headphones? 
I sell them for a uh, hundred dollars. It comes with yep. a with a with a case with a with a with a carry case. Oh, nice. It comes with with the adapters. Um, like on an airplane, it's perfect because you you can just adapt it and connect it direct. So on the plane, it was beautiful. Like on the plane, I was we had the free fly fly and shit. It was beautiful. I was listening right. to YouTube the whose time. I think I was commenting on somebody uh, whose page was I commenting on? On Rose's shit, I think when I was flying. Oh my yeah. My girl's like, yo, my girl's like, you're not gonna take a nap. I'm like, I'm not sleepy. <laughs> I just, it was crazy, bro. That's crazy as hell, man. Well, that's what's up, dude. Hell yeah. Cavalli, I do, yeah. I do have them. They have my logo and they have my um my name in the back. Cavalli, you see that? You see that sleeping emoji that you just put? Just oh. know this: if I ever run into you, that's what you're gonna be doing. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. <laughs> you see, Tommy, Tommy laughs at it. You see, I, I, I that's a fact. That. You know what it is, Tommy? That this, this is this. Like I said, it, I said it in dark side. This <laughs> is entertainment. This is not like you know. I watch on-demand videos. It's for entertainment, not because you know. I feel it's serious, you know. Like, like I said, I was watching Power. Oh, she reminded me of the '80s in New York. Oh, but, yeah. but the one thing was, the '80s were a lot rougher than now. So now I, I could, I couldn't sit in a park like this one in the '80s. Then again, we didn't have cell phones either, so. Yeah, we, right. We had the cr- crackheads everywhere. We had the fucking the the trash bins up on You're fire. In the Bronx right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the Bronx, the um, the Mashulu area. Oh shit! The nice. park is not is not too far from my house. The highway's right there. The police station's on the block. The coffee spots up the block. Can't get mad at that. Right. And I just come down. Just came down. So let me chill for a little bit. You know, get online for a bit. I told JB. JB jumped on, but he's going to the barbecue. I was gonna go to. I was gonna do a barbecue today, but I'm like, yo, I'm so tired of that shit. Right. right. I, I want to be on that on that goof shit. I'm the fag. Don't even get me started on you, motherfucker. Yo, I'm the Mac. Is the man, dog. <laughs> yeah, I gotta stop. This Listen, motherfucker came up. up on the, yo, I'm the Mac. You came up right uh, now. I'll give you a $50 cash up right now. Listen, Tommy. Tommy, I'm gonna keep it real with you. To me, I'm the Mac. Is a seven foot two. Yeah. Looks like Zeus. He's probably I'm shorter than. That he's way. probably shorter than Dose. <laughs> Dose is taller than you, man. He's not taller than me. Get it the fuck Dose. out. Those are part of you, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> I'm the nah, Mac. Man. Come up, man. I'll give you a, I'll give you a fucking cash up right now. I like that other season, too. You know, technically, you kind of were born in the lab, though. I, how? 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 That's where you got known from, no? No, you no, no, no. I got known from going at him when I left the lab. For yeah, real. true, true. I think because I, I, I was only on because I was only on his panel one time. He had no white gods, dumbass, up there, and uh, uh, I had some other ghost one hundred, whatever the fuck his name was, and it was about a bunch of racial shit got mentioned, and, and those ended up having me go on there. So I went up there just one fucking time, and then all that shit transpired afterwards. So nah, I wasn't born in no lab. Cut it the fuck out, Mac. He made three K today off classic rock vinyl. Get the fuck. Okay, well you know, show a receipt yeah, on that, is, buddy. It is it is legal out there. You can't do that. As long as you're growing out there, you're good because you can sell it right to the dispensary. I think he's from the UK. Oh no, man! Don't go. Come on, don't, 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 don't. That's I'm the Mac. I'm more UK than I'm the Mac. I'm the Mac. Hit the link. Hit the link. Come on up here. Let's hear your voice and turn your camera on real quick. Say you have fifty dollars cash up. Hey, with the with the trigger. It's Kavali got the best vernacular. I told him though, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna stop saying the whole bond ten and all that because I'm not a blood. So I'm gonna start doing. He's not thing. either, man. He's not either. Trust and believe me. There's no way in hell he is. Trust me on that one. I'm the I'm the Mac. Goof Troop. Yeah. Goof Troop's actually from uh, Miami. Yeah. And, and he confirms. Yeah, he that motherfucker is definitely not from there. He's no fucking blood, none of that shit. You're a dick sucker. But, I, so I but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth, bro. If there's any place in Florida I would love to move to, it is for St. Lucie because I'm a Mets fan. That's where the Mets play. Oh, yeah? And it's only, it's like an hour drive from Miami, so it's like it'd be perfect for me. Oh, okay. That's the only place I've actually thought about buying a summer home at, besides there and San Jose, California. But San Jose, California, is just too expensive. 
cleanup. What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh shit. Yo, I can do this shit all day, man. All night. You Yo, bro, I'll tell you, it's shit. fine, man. It's fine. Look at that. I'm not. I thought I was going to come right back. You're over here in the like, park two hours later. I feel later. like Rose. I feel like Rose. I'm going to tell my wife, Yo, do like Rose's wife. Send me a cash app so I can stay out. <laughs> oh, Rose's shit. Wife. Yo, keep them out there. Yo, do so how many lives, times man. do I got to prove you motherfuckers wrong? You said the bike's not mine. You said I can't ride a motorcycle, so I do an upload. I get 1,600 fucking views from it. Yo. Like, what more do I need to do? I mean, hello. You got to put your arms in the Harley. Okay, okay. You gotta well, my, my, bike's te- to my bike is te- technically the same thing as a road king, a Harley road king. Not the, but, but the, arms, the arm reaching is high, though. Well, no, it all depends on it all depends on uh, uh, you know the handlebar setting, bro. You can change it around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For real, for real. I'm not riding a fucking chopper. You know what I mean? A chopper is when the handlebars are way up high and you're standing like a you're sitting like a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about getting a, a different little scooter right around here quicker because I'm tired of walking everywhere. Because I don't drive with, without my girl. My girl. The car well, sits there, park, because over here finding parking is the worst thing in the world, and I, I, I'm sick and tired of paying parking lots. So when we don't have to use the car, I'm like, yo, I'll go, I'll go walking, I'll take the train, I'll take the bus, the bus I don't really jump on too much. I'll jump on the train, get to where I got to go, and that's it. Like, when I got to go pay people Tuesdays, I'll be like, yo, just stay, I'll take the train quick. It's like a three-minute ride with the train, bro. It's crazy. It's, it's much, much more easier. Um, but I don't want to take the risk of getting locked up. I mean, I'm telling you, I tell you, I got locked up about 12, 13 times for suspended license, and they don't want to give me my license back. Right. I've already, I've already paid over 25 grand, and I still can't get my license back. Oh, you don't have a license? No, I've been suspended for, woo, for oh, years, shit. brother. How much you I'm owe? Driving, I don't owe nothing. I don't owe them anymore. So the why can't you get your been, license? I, I have to get approved by New York City. By New York State, I mean. By Albany. You can't pay, mm-hmm. like, money to get your shit? Like, Bro, that's weird. listen, when was it? 2016 or 17, I paid a lawyer. He told me, listen, you don't owe no money. You're good to go. This is what we're going to do. You give me four grand, and you get your license back. <laughs> you and gave I gave him four grand, fuck. and I still <laughs> no. got no license. Oh, uh, shit. Still got no license. That sucks, like, man. I can't I'm imagine not having my license, man, for real, for real. I mean, New York, you can, in New York, you can move around with her. Like, like, <laughs> Rose, go oh, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's a whole fact. You trade it well, you motherfucker. That's how it feels, Cavalli. That's how it feels, man. So you see me driving in Vegas with no problem. Oh, you, oh okay, yeah. I, don't say, I thought I saw you driving, bro. You yeah, crazy driving, bastard. Yeah, driving in the strip. Yeah, you can't. You're like, fuck it. I get locked up. I'll just bail myself out real quick. I, I, I be, no, but they don't. Sometimes they, they, I've, I've done two weeks in in, in Rikers, one in Rikers Island and one on the Hunts Point boat, and that was from driving. That they gave me one dollar warrant, meaning that basically with that one dollar warrant you can't bail yourself out. You have to stay there for the next uh, court date. Oh shit! Yeah, I've, I've I've done that twice already. Yo, I did uh, I did two months at MDC Brooklyn. That was enough for me. <laughs> oh, that's bad time. I, I'm not. I, yo, it's funny. It's funny because my mind, I'm a, like my, I was heavier too. So I'm six one, about yep. three hundred, three hundred plus pounds, and I'm in uh, the boat. And mind you, yes. my father, my my father was still alive. My um and my sister, they went to go try to visit me at the boat, but they couldn't visit me because you know everything's by by um right. by letters right, or last name. Yeah. Yeah, Rikers and in the boat. But at that time, I was in the boat. Oh, okay. So they went to, they stood an hour four lines. I mean, four hours in line to just drop up some underwear and socks for me and shirts. Because they right. knew that I wasn't going to come out to, to, that, to the next Tuesday or whatever. So um, it, it, was, it was crazy because I was like, you know, I didn't have no commissary yet. And the guy goes to me, yo, you hungry? I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of hungry because, you know, I didn't know how it worked. You know, I had to fucking, I didn't know I had to leave the milk from three in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. Right. So I'm I'm there and the guy goes, yo, but that dude right there is eating a soup. Why don't you go steal that shit from him? I like the other dude. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm going to go steal this. That dude's in here for fucking up his wife. I'm here for fucking driving suspended license. He's rougher than me right now. I ain't doing that shit. I'm, nigga, I'm out Tuesday, bro. I'll be starving till Tuesday. I don't care. That's how they Get do the it, bro, bro. They throw you in with anybody. They don't care. I was in there with murderers, bro. 
Yeah, yeah. Yo. Once you're in the dorm, it's a wrap. Yo, come People. on. Come on. Crazy. Let's talk money about the six one thing, bro. Let's talk money about it. I like I like gambling. I'm a gambler. But yeah, I'm six one. I might I might be now. I think I went down though. I, I don't think I'm six one officially. Anymore. I think I'm six feet now. I think uh, you're I think five age... fucking nine, motherfucker. Uh, bro, I, you wanna do the fifty dollar cash app? You wanna do the fifty dollar cash app? No, I believe. I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, those, bro, though, he, those, those, those is, those is five eight. I'm five nine. So yeah, I gotta start. I gotta start doing all that burpees and all that shit. That, that's definitely the, the weight loss is there. It's just now. I gotta, let's you know, let's I keep it real, on. bro. We're all fucking pushing forty years old. Who's really in that good of shape? Unless you're a fucking crackhead and you don't eat. Let's keep it one hundred. Um, yeah, I you mean, know? well, I'm not afraid because of the surgery, but you know, at the end of the day, it's still. I still got more weight to lose, and then on top of that, I've been going to the gym. But like I, the two weeks that I wasn't here, I didn't go to the gym. So I'll start the gym back tomorrow. Um, but I did a lot of walking anyway, like when I was out there. So I mean, it's not it's not much work. Cavalli said he in Cavalli said he in shape. No, nah, Cavalli's uh, doing the workout videos nah, and everything. Nah, man, he's been hitting that fucking glass deck, bro. <laughs> he don't have no appetite, man. That's why. Trust me, I know his type. You know what I mean? He's always looking over his fucking shoulder. So he's always like, you know, that crack got him paranoid, bro. Wow. I would, I would say that about Snuggins. Snuggins? Nah, Snuggins is, yeah, bigger. Snuggins, Snuggins Snuggins is be, bigger than Cavalli. No, nah, bro, Snuggins weighs 60 pounds, not even well. I'm, jeal- I'm so the- fucking... Listen, if there's one person on YouTube I'm jealous of, it's you, Cavalli, kid. You got so many things going for yourself. I wish I was you. I wish everything. Come on, please, please. Get the fuck out of here. You don't even believe that yourself, you dumb fuck. The fuck are you? <laughs> Fucking yeah, predator. Dude. Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, Damn. I love, I love to be part of this. As well, like I said, as long as it's each other, I love it. I love it. I wish you were not in Florida. I, re- I swear to God, I wish... He was next door to me. <laughs> but 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 seven oh two. The only thing about Snuggins is that to me Snuggins looks like one of those Q tips that it was was used because the mold makes it look like it's dirty on one side. Shout out to Snuggins, man. Snuggins, shout out to you, bro. Yeah, he 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 came at me for no reason, so you know it is what it is. Now you got to take the brunt of what you did, you know. Like I, I got time. That's the thing. I got a lot of time. His, but his mold dude look like a dirty Q-tip. Yes, yes, I'm the Mac. I'm wasting my white skin. Okay, if I'm not making five <laughs> K a week. Okay. Well, guess what? This white skin is darker than your boyfriend Dose. So what do you got to say about that? You should be oh, telling man. him that. You should be telling him that. Fuck face. Don't tell me that, bitch. Fuck out of here. Bunch of clown Actually, ass motherfuckers. It, you motherfuckers are the trolls of YouTube. You bitch made motherfuckers got nothing going for yourself. Nothing. Yeah, not not for now. What Cavalli's saying is right though. If anywhere I want to fight at, it would be the Florida or LA. Oh, Vegas okay. too, because Vegas is nice. So if I gotta take a trip to fight somebody, those are the destinations I would accept. North Carolina, I'm not really feeling it. Those is whiter than me. He's whiter than Gabe. What are you talking no, I'm, about? I'm, I'm not white. I'm, I'm, I know I'm, you're Spanish, but I'm just saying. He, he, yo, come on, man. You guys gotta stop white, lying though. to that, man. My brother white though. My brother's white. Like, he my mom complexion. Cause my mom I think was this really is funny as hell. I, listen, yeah, that, funny, see, yeah. I, this is what. This, listen, <laughs> this is what you guys got it twisted. I I don't get mad at you, motherfuckers. I really don't, Gabe. You can tell I don't get. Do you yeah. think I'm mad? I'm laughing. Enjoy it. That gets mad. I, that I, gets it, mad. I enjoy this shit. I really do. Because it's funny to me. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Oh, man. Them fat jokes, bro. Like, what is this guy was saying he's going to punch my, my gastric butt, belly button. Oh, man. Come on, dog. That's, cre- that's creativity. I, I give him creativity on that one. But he just sounded like he was a little nervous and I, cause he didn't expect me to confront him. I love being ro- I love roasting. This shit, this shit don't yeah, affect bro. me at all. It really Rose don't. Chat me. Rose's chat be pumping now, bro, with that, with that roasting shit. I love getting in there talking shit. Yo, Rose Gold, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll keep it 100 right now. To, to these motherfuckers in the chat right now talking shit to me, you got nothing on Rose Gold. Believe me when I tell you that. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a yeah. fact. Now, Rose, 
I mean, Rose is probably the ugliest host we have, but yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I be, I be feeling, I be feeling like we in the in the in the digital underground video when we when Rose be on. Cavalli, I already killed you, dude. What are you talking about? I killed you on my channel many fucking times. Just me pulling out those police reports. You can't come back from that. Not at all. You're done. You're done out here, bitch. You're not even here, really. This is like a ghost. Get the fuck out of here. No, but he's kind of roasting too. I'm the Mac. He's roasting on that one because the thing is that you know, um, like I said, I'm the Mac. As long as you're not with family, bro, I I'm I'm cool with whatever you say about each other. And you, right. you find something on me, you want to use it on me, I'll, I'll take it. So as long as everybody's roasting <laughs> each other, it's, it's all good to me. They know. I, I might sound I might sound angry at times, but. I'm, never, I really never, don't never get angry. mad, though. I really yeah, don't. I bro. laugh at this shit, dude. I, Tommy, I really but, do. But what makes me laugh about Tommy is that Tommy starts laughing, and then he starts roasting. So you could tell he's, he's, he's laughing right. about it. I take like, this I, shit. I, there, Come on. There, there was one time that I was I was walking down, and I'm listening to you, and I think it was Reem Dean put there, Tommy, are you still using your mother for for practice, for, for, for boxing practice, some shit like that? You couldn't stop that? laughing, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You could not stop laughing, bro. <laughs> yeah, where is that motherfucker? You... Where is Reed Bean, anyway? Know, man. I have no clue. Uh, uh, I'm the fag. I never blocked you, bitch. Sorry. Never. I don't block no, but... anybody. Not me. I'm the Mac. Oh. Listen. Keneal. Oh, no. Keneal. Let me, let me just say this real quick to Keneal, okay? Keneal, you have clearly never had any kind of loss in your life because, once again, you live in a group home that your mother owns. So you happen to have some money, but it's not your money, bitch. Not by a long shot. So, therefore, you don't have responsibility. You don't have your own car, your own bills, your own nothing. You live with mama in her group home. So, therefore, you don't know what it's like to get a phone call. Well, actually, your brother come knocking on your fucking bedroom door saying that your mom is dead. And guess what? All this shit falls on my fucking shoulders. Not nobody else. Not my brother. Not my sister. My shoulders. I'm the only kid who did anything for her. I'm the responsible one who has a job. Your bitch-made motherfucking ass don't know what that's like. So, I see no shame in what I did for a fucking uh, GoFundMe. So, go suck a dick, you faggot motherfucker. Because if I no, ever listen. see you, trust and believe, you will be laying in that position, motherfucker. Trust me. I, I ain't, I ain't got that lie. I, I am getting gonna, serious about right now. I, I wish I would have been a GoFundMe for my dad passed because at that time, you know, I mean, luckily we were luck, fortunate enough to have people donate where I didn't even have to put money on my pocket. Um, I appreciate a lot that. Of friends, a lot of friends and family came through. I was shocked, bro. I was really shocked. I don't think they were gonna come through like that because my father's funeral came out to about like nine thousand, and it was because we already had the hope because my mom, right. where my mom was buried at. Right. So well, you know, it. but either either way, you know, at that time, you know, I had some money. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the stack that I've had afterwards. But you know, we were ready to pay for the funeral, and people just kept donating, donating. So I, 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 I wish we would have been a GoFundMe back then. But right. you know, like even even for my girl's mom, um, grandma, you know, when she passed away, um, you know, we were gonna do a GoFundMe, and we stopped. We stopped it because um, the funeral it, we couldn't have an actual funeral, so it was only it, it was like even the cremation cost like three grand because usually cremation here costs about five hundred dollars, but because of right. COVID, the whole thing the the, the shit was taken left, and it, they charged about like six times the price. It was crazy. Now, we couldn't find yeah. a funeral home. Like, it took us, like, three weeks to find a funeral home. You know, it was, it was, it was bugged out. Well, I bet, especially in New York, bro. That's, like, you know, busy fucking place, right? Oh, bro, there was there was a funeral home here on 149th Street in, in uh, Melrose. Over here, in, it's, it's, like, the South Bronx. It's a little far from here. Um, this It's a funeral home. That's where my mom was. They did a funeral for my mom. It's called La Paz. And it's the peace. That place... Somebody literally dropped off a body in front of the funeral home. Like, it's your problem now. And they left That's the body crazy. there. Probably a loved That's one. Crazy. That's how bad it was in New York. That's how bad it was. I can see somebody doing that to the Cavalli, the predator. Nobody gives a fuck about him. You know what I mean? I can definitely I, see I, that. 
I can't. So I don't know. I, I, like that. People's, people's home lives are different than they are on YouTube, so I, I'm not sure. Come on, look oh, at him. He looks like, uh, you know, like he's just his, his, his mom. Yeah. Hey. You're killing me, yeah. Could you imagine yeah. this motherfucker being a church going motherfucker, man? I can see that. I can see that. Who? who Kavali? Yeah, I can see that. Nah, can that, see that, that, that I can't. That, that one I can't. I can't. Um, but for clean up, clean up that comment about the static, static stuff. Listen, bro. <laughs> like I said, the problem is this. A lot of people assume because I, I, I try to, like, I, I'm a cooler head in the sense that, you know, I don't think drama is needed. Right. But, I, I enjoy the fuck shit, but the drama's really not needed. Um, with the whole static thing, I've already proven my point. I showed up. I was right here by his job. I literally was on his job waiting for a movie to start. So he had time to do whatever he wanted. Um, it's done. I, he don't have to worry about me saying anything else about it. Unless he, I mean, not even when they ask me, this is the last time I address it. I already showed up. Nothing happened. That's it. The next one up, I might take a trip to North Carolina, but at the end of the day, I think it'll be a waste of time because I don't think they'll show up either. So right. I'm going to chill out, chill back, relax, you know, enjoy my YouTube thing, my new YouTube lifestyle, and I'm going to be posting a lot of different videos and creating what I could, and people like it, they like it, they don't, they don't. It's simple. Like, like it's the whole thing about, oh, I was, they were saying that I was flossing for YouTube. Bro, did you who guys not that? see, uh, well, who else? Oh, um, but my thing is, why would I floss for YouTube if, in April, I took a, a big trip where I popped two $600 bottles, well, $300 bottles each of Ace of Spades on Doses Live when I wasn't even creating anything on YouTube yet. Right. It's, well, I, I, I did, vaca- when, I, when I vacation, I vacation hard because I work hard. I mean, like, I, I, I do a lot of work out here. I'm, I, I, I'm fortunate enough to make enough money to do that. And my, my girl... Um, she just left her other job. Now she's going to start her new job, which pays her a lot more. So now we're, you know, the thing is this, like, we're th- Oh, shit. What happened there? He comes back. Let me just say this. You motherfuckers yeah, think of me back. as a celebrity. That's why you, the Predator Cavalli, right? The Predator Cavalli. And then you get, I'm the fag. You motherfuckers got me in all your titles and shit. What's up with that? But I'm not creative enough to have a roast with you. You guys aren't even on my my type of level, to be honest with you. You guys mm. lie about everything. Bunch of clown-ass motherfuckers, man. Yo, come on. Keep, that's good to hear, bro. That's good to hear right there. Keep whatever it is you think you're doing, because you're really not doing nada. Yeah, man, you can't take the shit serious. I was telling that to Carlos on the car. You can't take none of this shit serious, man. But Listen. Co- it, go ahead. It, it, to me, to me, like I said, to me, if I don't like it, I just don't watch it. Like you know, unknown. I jumped on his chat. The other, oh, that's the chat I jumped on in the plane. Cause I saw Suan there. I want to thank Suan because she sent a cash up to my girl for a drink. Um, that's the only reason why I jumped on. on uh, no, I've never been on those chat before. But I've said it before. I've said it a million times over. I'm actually gonna talk to him about making me a a laugh uh, recording. Cause I, that last he works it to the T, bro. He works that shit to the T. You know, you gotta like with Cavalli. Cavalli's laugh on its own is hilarious to me. So it makes me laugh, no matter what it is. It could be corny, but I'll laugh. You're probably Cavalli's his only laugh. fan, Gabe. You're probably his only fan. Oh, I'm Who, the man too. That's it. Yeah. Nah, nah Cavalli got people. Man. People. Cavalli got people. He, he, listen, when when somebody hates you or loves you, bro, it, nah. it's because you're doing something. You're doing something. You're doing something that that will earn you that right. You understand? Like people, people don't like with you. You, you know, people who are lab supporters are going to go at you because, you know, you go at those, you know, I personally keep it away because I, I, if I find you entertaining, I'll tell you I find you entertaining. And if I find the other guy in, not entertaining, I'll tell you I don't find you entertaining. You know, to me, I find you, like I said, the original four with you, Factual, Doc, and, and J-Way to me was fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, y'all were hilarious together. Um, you know, to me, if I find it entertaining, I'll watch it. If I don't find it entertaining, I'll just change it. That's it. No, it's I easy. It. I feel it. It's yeah, easy. No, I so, get it. To me, it's that easy. Like, you know, Grizz's chat, you know, Grizz's thing, I don't really watch it because I don't find it as entertaining. I can't take that pedal talk all the time. I can't. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't resonate. I don't know, I don't know anybody's jacket on, on that panel or on the chat. So why would I take serious what they're saying about that 
when no matter what, but while while so many people are talking about it, there's a lot of people suffering from it at that very moment. Why are everybody in the chat talking about it while it's happening, while it's live? You know, to me, that's the part that, that to me throws me off. Like, I'm in this for entertainment purposes, not because I want to hear about anything. I was like, even when those get, get on the serious topics, I just sometimes be like, you know, I, I don't want to watch it, you know, because it's not my thing. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the for the fuck shit or I'm here for for business talk. I'm here for stuff like that. So like when Rose talks, gets into that business shit, when, when, when Taz or Goofy up there, uh, I'm all in. When we get into the roasting, I'm all in. When Rose yeah, starts talking about his braids, <laughs> yeah. When when Rose when Rose starts talking about his braids, I tune out because that shit is like it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy, man. Yeah, man, you gotta love YouTube, bro. They're gonna get rid of us. Like, you know, Tommy's the first one. Who, yo, know, that email shit was so fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah, I was like, it was. Oh, I, yo, I used to watch this color. motherfucker. I, I used to say to myself, "Watch, I bet this motherfucker's gonna message Dose and they're gonna say something." Sure as shit, every time you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my thing is at that time too, at that time, you know, nobody knew me yet. Um, I was just bullshitting there and, you know, I just the merch guy. But, but it was crazy because by the time that I went to Dose, with the first time I met Dose when I was in the car, to the next time when, when, I, when I went there, down there for Valentine's week, um, everything had changed so much. Like everybody started going against Dose. At that time, everybody was supporting Dose. So it was just like it was just like a, a, a whirlwind, and then I'm like, damn, I gotta choose sides. Fuck it though, but like I'm Tommy. I'm like, yo, Tommy, who the fuck is this Tom, this TJ Cody dude? Fuck this dude, man. I don't know. I'm not gonna listen to him. And then next thing you know, one day I say, even you, even the one that had my name on it, I'm like, I'm not gonna sit there and listen to this fucking guy. And then next thing you know, little by little, you start popping up on my shit. I'm like, yo, let me let me see this shit. And I started <laughs> dying. I was like, yo, this guy's fucking funny, man. And then I started, started listening more and more. And then what, next thing you know. When you did that whole peanut uh, and those shit, I was like, oh, wait, he's going to talk about me. And then I hear me. I'm like, oh, this is funny. I, I like it. And then I said, I, I said it. at that point, I was like, you know what? I, I came out wrong at the beginning. So let me just, you know, it's not even about, like I said, it wasn't even to fix myself on YouTube. Because at the end of the day, how much money am I really going to make on YouTube? You know, I mean, maybe branching off. Now I'm going to start doing my own commercials and stuff like that. But the truth is, you know. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, bro. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm yeah. gonna keep it 100 with you. Had you chose the good side, the best side, our side, you'd be blowing up, bro. Way more than you no, are. No, no. And not even about. First of all, I'm just no fucking. With you. I'm just fucking. I'm, I'm just fucking. With you. I'm just going to clean up. Said clean up. Said that. I said what clean up, bro. No, but no. Honestly, you know what it is. Um, at the beginning. I've, at that point, on, the only people I've heard in the sector was Cavalli. I couldn't stand him. Um, no, I, I can't heard, blame you there. I, I heard, <laughs> I heard those. At that time, it was those Cavalli, Miss Five Hundred Four, and Miss Five Hundred Four. Shout out Miss Five Hundred Four. And I heard a lot about Grizz and 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 and, and Fifth, but I didn't know much about them. Um, Shout out I Grizz, listen, man. I, I didn't listen to their shows at the time or whatever. I mean, I still, I honestly, like I said, I don't, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say I listen to Grizz. I really don't because to me, it's just like that whole, it gets I'm too surprised. serious. It gets too serious for me and I, I'm not into that serious YouTube shit. Um, yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, you know, we all got our preferences. Um, yeah, pretty much, with, right. With those, you know, um, I, I honestly, like I've always said, if, if, I, if I was Dose's manager, I would tell Dose, yo, Dose. Just handle the chat. Don't bring in nobody. Just handle the chat on your own. Let the trolls come in and you do what you do. Spot yeah, spot. I was going to say, you know, the thing is, Gabe, is this, man. That that, that man will try to have a live. <clears throat> I noticed this back when I was over there watching him. And every time a troll comes in there and talks some shit, he has to stop what he's doing to address every single fucking troll. Why? Why do you do that? Like, that, you're taking away from what you're trying to fucking do as so-called content. So... You know, it is what it is, man. It's his channel. You can do however the fuck he wants, but you got a million and one people telling you to stop paying attention to the fucking trolls, and you just keep doing it every single time. Like, hello. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, at times, at times, I do agree with you on that one. But to me, to me, the biggest thing, though, that's what I'm saying. If if those was to go one when when those goes one on one with the chat, that's that's his best programming. Because he doesn't remember names, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he 
does it. He's he's better. He used to call me Sage all the time. So I mean, um, you know, hey, whatever. So to me, to me, to me, when he's one on one with the chat, like like you know, like me, I'm I'm trying to get comfortable with it. With him going with the chat because he got so many trolls, it's the best. Cause he starts going in on them, and then when he starts, you know, breaking that down, that's my fa- my favorite dose moment. Um, okay. Well, I'm glad you said that because I. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. But, but but it's like with your show, you're you by yourself. I can see that you don't have the kind of trolls that he does. So you you're gonna be it's gonna be like with me. I don't have the trolls yet. So to me, I can't go back and forth with anybody on the chat like that. Um, oh, I get plenty you're good of trolls. When, yeah, you do, but you don't get it to the point where you you can do a two hour live on it. You know, uh, you have to, no, when but, you bring up guests, yeah. when you bring up guests, it, it flows better. And then, like I said, when you and Jay way together and Doc, you guys bounce off each other really good, so right. it makes the show more entertaining. No, um, with those, sometimes it's, I think I think with those most of it, and I've I've had the problem with my lives, is the lag. And I think it's, it's that StreamYard shit, bro. StreamYard gives you that fucking bad lag, man. There and, is and a bad just, lag. Yeah, you start talking over it. This streaming isn't that bad. Like, I, I'm, I'm hearing it much clearer, but now I still haven't tried it from home yet. I'm, I want to do that first before I switch completely. But, right. yeah, bro, it's that, it's that lag on StreamYard that, like, there was, a, there was one of the shows that people were telling me that I was talking over JB, but it was just I had a bad lag. You know, it was terrible. <laughs> That's I, always going to happen, though. <clears throat> yeah, man. So you know, it's getting used to it. Getting used to it. With those, I think it's just a bad lag, and I mean, it's him too. Getting out the chat because he likes he he loves addressing the chat. So that's why I think sometimes he, I'm be like, yo, you better off put that lab coat on, put the goggles on, and go straight. You should to the have chat. never told them to the do best. that. <laughs> that's the best. So, yo, you you ever seen the one where he comes out? I don't. I think he was talking about Vito. I I, I want to say it was about Vito. Shout he's out to about, Vito Dallas. Yeah, 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 young man, bro. I finally spoke to him once on, on Carlos' chat, you know. Um, <laughs> when, he was talking about Vito, and he's talking about, um, I think it was Vito, I'm not sure. But he, he goes and puts the coat on, comes back, and starts telling everybody to go grab any woman they see, pay for them, take them to the clinic. <laughs> he goes, take them to the clinic, make sure they're clean, you can check yourself out too, but don't worry about yourself because you haven't had sex in years, so don't worry about it. You're clean. <laughs> Go raw dog in her because that way you can stop thinking about friends. So, yo, that shit had me dying, bro. Well, how does that he. Just... All right. I'm glad you said that, Gabe, because listen. <clears throat> uh, all right. When he says that shit, right, you think about. You think, we think about him all the time, but how is that when you're the one who constantly has our names in the fucking title? But it goes back one. Forth, Tommy. Oh, it goes right. Back all right. It's all right. Okay. It's okay. It's all right. Sides. There you go. There you go. You said it. It's both sides. There you go. So it's not yeah, just it's one sides. sided. It's both fucking sides, bro. But, but I'm going to tell you the difference. I'm going to tell you the difference. I'm, I'm talking from an unbiased perspective. I'm talking. I'm not telling you because I'm, I'm a lab guy because I've, I've made it clear that I, I like both of you guys. The one thing is that the, the topic on those is usually longer than what those dedicate to a person. What? I think it's also because those has more enemies. <laughs> but like, let's say, let's say you could do a half hour to an hour show where you have everybody's up there jumping on those, talking about those. And mind you, once Y and D jumps up there, once uh, who's the other one there? An RFD. If they both jump up there, it's gonna become a dose, a dose content show, regardless. Because they always it, it jumps into the dose situation. Y'all gotta be talking about something else, and then it goes into dose. With those, I think those spreads it out more. Like, he'll talk a lot about you and then talk about Grizz and then talk about Y&D, but it's, like, more evenly uh, timed. You know what Dave, I've had a whole show on me, bro, for a week straight. Yeah, but that was the whole, with the whole, the, the whole case, no? <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's – even when he's trying to do something else, he still brings me into it. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah. He saying that I, and he lies, no, I'm not, bro. I'm not saying, saying that. I use the N word. I've never used the fucking N word on YouTube. Uh, he still uh, says that shit. He's a fucking weirdo. Like, dude, get your facts straight. He's another one. He lies when he's trying to bang on people. That's not banging on people. That's lying. At least when I do it, I use the real shit against you. That's what I do. Uh, so, I, 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 think all, I, 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 thought, I think we all just push a little bit more. Like, like listen, I, I started talking about Goose Tooth Hairline before I even seen it. But after seeing Goof yesterday for the first time, I now see the Kevin Durant in him. Shout out Goof, Joe. 
My dude. Yeah, uh, goof, the goof, goof is funny because me and Goof never spoke before. Goof used to throw a little whole Valentine's Day shit. Uh, you took yeah, but a lot of this shit, man, you were guilty by association, bro. No, of course, bro. It's not even guilty. You know it man, you know, well, you know, know what I'm you know saying. What I mean? Not guilty, but you know what I'm saying. Tommy, uh, Tommy, listen. Uh, by association, I guess you could Tommy, say. Tommy, listen, listen. I'm the only one. I, mean, I don't know. I can't say I'm the only one, but think about it. I'm, I've got no problem jumping on chat, uh, on panels, where I know that, like, I know you and Doc are not against me, but the chat could be. I got no problem jumping up there and just taking on everybody. Like, we did it, like, the first time with your show, I think that was one that got the jitters away from me, because that was the first time I was going to, you know, argue on the, on the, on the, on actual YouTube or whatever. So that one, I think that helped me out a lot when I went live on, uh, on yours, because I had, like, 13 people coming at me, and I'm just, like, chilling there, smoking my cigar, relaxed. You know, right, so right. I to me, that, yeah. To, yeah, to me, and to me, that was a uh, that was something that helped me get through whatever you know, being not wanting to be seen on camera, right. you know, the the voice thing. It <clears> made <throat> me feel a lot better because I was able to confront it, and I'm, I'm I like confrontation, I like conflict. I'm, I'm never lied about that. Yeah, I, I like the bullshit. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Now, now I could get be, I could be myself on chat. Like, it's yeah, not and at first, bro, be honest with you. At first, your mic was really low too when you first jumped on YouTube. Yeah, because yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't know that you can actually select Bluetooth on 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 Streamyard and stuff like that. Oh, uh, okay. So you know, I was using my headphones. I was connecting the wire because I didn't know you could because the Bluetooth before on those shit sounded bad. Right. And I didn't realize why, but now that I know that you can actually put the Bluetooth option. It makes it a lot better. Right. It makes it easier for me. So, like, I, I can still sound muffled a little bit through the Bluetooth, but the headphones are clear. Like, like when I talk on the phone, my headphones sound crystal clear. So, to me, it's just like you know, it, it goes like that. You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. But it's 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 entertaining, man. I love this shit, bro. Yeah, this is all fun, man. I laugh even at these weird motherfuckers that just sit back and laugh. Because I know what type of man I am. I know what type of people they probably are. So I just keep it moving that way. That that goes for all sides. That goes for all sides. Because like I said, there's some, like, you know, let's say, let's say for example, I've seen somebody trying to take shots at me lately, you know. I I, I take it in jest. um, This guy, War Child. All right. Yesterday, he's on Rose's chat, and you can hear the tattoo. I'm sorry. But honestly, me personally, if a person's on the panel for one hour doing a tattoo on me with no mask on, at, at this moment, mm, I don't know how believable that is, that he was working at that moment. But, like I said, it's just, he was talking shit, so I threw a little shit back. Well, hold on. Let me, let, let, let me not, you know, let me just say, that. how do we know he didn't have a mask on? Well, I mean, you could tell when somebody got a mask on. Game, cut it out, bro. You can't tell. It does sound different. No, it does sound different. What are you talking about? You ever try to talk, you, you talk, when you talk on the phone, don't you sound different when you got a mask on? I know I do. Cause it's uh, that mask. Well. Yeah, cause you got the you got another la- layer of fabric on you. Uh, like that you know man's uh, yeah. that man's yeah, a I genius. Mean, maybe, maybe he's. I mean, I, I saw I, I saw some of his artwork on. I think his Instagram suggestion popped up. You know, I'm not taking away. He he tries to talk shit about me about stuff about my artwork, which you know I could go back and forth if we want to, and we could also put up numbers if we really want to, but. Oh, Honestly, geez. I don't got no problem. I don't got no problem with the guy. I don't got no problem with the guy. <laughs> the problem I have right now is with that one dude who just like, how are you gonna write to me if you don't even know that I reached out to Tommy on my on, on my own time? Like, that was the one thing. Like I was like, bro, don't get me involved in what Dose does, bro. Like Dose is a grown man. I can't check another grown man. It's not gonna happen. Look at the, how many times I must have seen DC write, Doc. You need to stop drinking on the live. Okay, you're not gonna stop him from doing it because he likes doing it. You know what I mean? We like we enjoy. If you want to, if you want to drink on a live, you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, what is it? Dose always says he got the the, the porn stash, porn stash. Oh, watch out! Yeah, that's what, that's what um he he told me that the other day too. He goes, oh man, yeah, he got the porn Yo, stash. Yeah, let, let me say something else, man. I know I know Dose is your man and all, but you guys ought to hit him up. Let him know that those those. <laughs> <laughs> Those pubic hairs on his cheeks look awful thin, bro. You gotta shave that. Oh, shit. listen, listen, my dude. I'm on the same boat. I'm on the same boat. That's why I only go here because I'm like, I can't. Yeah, my shit don't go right. 
Hey, we're all not, not we're all not perfect, but man, if my shit's looking fucked up, I'm gonna shave it off, bro. Nah, I, he, yeah. He's his own man. I get it. I get it. You know, it is. <laughs> nah, but like, 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 even roasting, like that, that man, I would love to see hear y'all both roast each other on on the, on the air, like on, I'd on love some to. real roast. Anytime you set it up, anytime uh, we'll do it. Anytime you let I'll him go. I'll, I'll talk to him. I, I would love on to your that. panel, and, though. On your yeah, panel. Yeah, yeah, because I can. I, I'll mute one and then mute the other. Yeah, and then, like, I got you. I'm, I'll talk to him about that. Oh, that'd be. Oh, I'm. A, I'll do a logo and everything for that. You do that. You do that. Yeah, did you see? Did you see my chat? But I, I ended up doing it on my channel. I ended up yesterday. I, I I started working on the on the banner. I should came out crazy. Okay, I'll have to check that out. You gotta you got you gotta check it out. Yeah, I put the banner out. But yeah, let me start heading back because wifey's gonna be like, yo, where the fuck you at? Yeah, man. All right. Hey, thanks for having me up, Gabe. Nah, try to Tommy, set that I'm gonna I'm gonna set that up. I'm gonna set you both and set that up soon. All right. So later, Tommy's man. Salute. Out. All right, man. All right, salute, brother. Everybody in the chat, man. Talk to you guys later. I'll be dropping some more videos of the of the trip. All right. And poop, poop. you already know. You gotta put the top back on the on the car. You already know. Take it easy, everybody. Kavali, everybody, take it easy.